Harper's Red Sox record. Josh Beckett on the mound today. Eck and I will see you after the game right now. Don and Jerry take it away as the home team continues. Discussion between who was faster, Euclid or Pedroia. Did you see that ball hitting right field? He barely got to second base. <laughs> Pedroia sends it out towards right center field. Nixon on the run. I would have easily been on third base. Pedroia is slow. Fly ball out towards the triangle, still going, and it is off the wall. Euclid around third. He's going to come all the way around for the inside the park home run. <laughs> Probably go home tonight and still have to, you know, land bed and still won't be recovered. <laughs> Out of gas now. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Fenway Park. Welcome to Fenway Park for game two of the three game series between the Cleveland Indians and the Boston Red Sox. Hi again everybody I'm Don Orsillo welcome to Red Sox baseball well the Red Sox welcome back Josh Beckett tonight he left in the Mother's Day game here at Fenway Park back on May 13th after he was only able to go four innings leaving with an avulsion the Red Sox placed him on the disabled list and he's missed his last two starts back with the Red Sox tonight but at the time he was really dealing and was high in a lot of rankings around the American League first and wins in fact he's now tied for second along with Dice K and CC Sabathia at the time the opposing batting average was at 2 11 he was fifth then. He's improved since being on the disabled list. Now third behind only Dan Heron and A.J. Burnett. Roger Clemens, the last Red Sox, started to win his first eight games when he began 1986 at 14 and 0. As we welcome in Jerry Remy. Jerry, tonight Red Sox certainly happy to have Josh Beckett back. Well, they are, Don, and Josh Beckett happy to be back. You know, the Red Sox probably could have started him in his last stop, but they were very uh, concerned, you know, and cautious with him. They wanted to make sure that this was not going to become a problem for the rest of the season, and you're right. He was on a terrific streak before going on. Now the one concern you have after missing a couple of starts is that he may not be as sharp as he was before going on the DL and he has to be sharp against his Cleveland club. They gave him a very rough time a year ago. I remember a game we did last year in Cleveland where he gave up three home runs. Brassad got him for a grand slam. He got him for another one and Victor Martinez and they were all on fastballs. They were just sitting on his fastball last year and in that game down he was throwing 95 to 98 miles an hour. Well they're going to see a different pitcher this year of course if he doesn't come back rusty. One thing that the concern is he won't be able to throw the curveball but there's no way they throw him out there today if he wasn't able to throw all his pitches so the Indians will see a different pitcher tonight than they saw a year ago. Two top teams of the American League going head to head for the second straight night it's the Indians and Red Sox from Fenway first pitch is next. If you don't build the right deck in the first place, time and weather will just wear it away. So we engineered and treated our LP weather best decking so it looks beautiful, lasts longer, and needs less maintenance. That leaves more time for what you really want to do on a deck. Nothing at all. We're not looking for a genius grant, just ways to make life easier. That's what we do. We make the products that build the homes simply better. LP building products. Build with us. Want to go somewhere cool? Do something fun? Do it in a Ford Focus. You'll get up to 37 miles per gallon. Plus, Focus comes with five-year, 100,000-mile powertrain coverage. That's 40,000 more miles than Civic or Corolla. So go ahead, have some fun in a Ford Focus. Right now, get up to $3,000 cash back on Ford Focus. That's up to $3,000. See your local Ford store today. Have you heard about the benefits of a reverse mortgage? If you're a homeowner, 62 years or older, and would like to supplement your monthly income, a reverse mortgage could be the key to living comfortably in retirement. U.S. government insured reverse mortgages allow seniors to convert the equity in their home into cash without having to move or make monthly loan payments. We offer a free information kit and video explaining everything you need to know about a reverse mortgage. Call 800-300-4519. Where should we sit? Right at first base. Wait, how about along the third baseline? Wow, this is great. Just like having season tickets. Looking for great seats? Buy tickets from other fans. Have extra tickets? Sell them to other fans. 
Go to StubHub.com today for tickets to the hottest sports, concert, and theater events, even if they're sold out. Peanuts. Hey, there's still tickets Peanuts. right behind home plate. Peanuts. Let's go for it. StubHub, your choice, your ticket, your experience. StubHub! Four new Firestone tires and up to 100 bucks back? We'll drink to that. Get up to a $100 Visa prepaid card when you buy four select Firestone tires through June 2nd. Captioning provided by Finagle and Bagel, Austin's best sandwich soup, salad, and of course, Bagel Cafe, with 20 locations in Eastern Mass. This is brought to you by Southwest Airlines, New England Subaru Dealers, Foxwoods Resort Casino, New England Dodge Dealers, Rico, your local Lincoln Mercury Dealers, Molson, and by New England Toyota Dealers. Hey, good evening once again, everybody. Welcome inside Fenway Park for the middle game of this three-game series between the Red Sox and the Cleveland Indians. Red Sox are taking the field. Let's check out the Indians starting nine, brought to you by Rico. Grady Sizemore back at the top of the order for the Tribe. He's in center field. Johnny Peralta at shortstop at second. Travis Hafner is the designated hitter. Victor Martinez, the catcher in the cleanup spot. Trot Nixon back in right field. Ryan Garko at first base. David DeLucci in left field. Josh Barfield at second base bats eight. And Mike Rouse at third base bats ninth. On the mound tonight for Boston. In his return, it's Josh Beckett. Well, Beckett a perfect 7 0 on the season. The 2.66 ERA is still sixth best in the American League, and the opponent average is 211 is third best the last time we saw Beckett was on May the 13th against Baltimore when he had to leave after four innings giving up a couple of earned runs uh, with that avulsion on the finger and we'll see how he bounces back against a team that last year gave him a lot of problems the Cleveland Indians. It's Grady Sizemore to lead it off here for the Indians the center fielder on the first pitch of this one's in there for strike one. Sizemore starting the night at 271 with eight home runs and 24 runs batted in. The fine leadoff hitters get some uh, pretty good pop with the eight homers in the 24 RBIs. There's a good sign right there, right out of the chute. The second pitch of the ball game, a curveball from Beckett, and that was a concern. You know that that's a problem uh, that the, could cause that finger, but uh, right away showing the curveball of the Cleveland hitters. Sizemore is third in the American League in strikeouts, only behind B.J. Upton and Curtis Granderson as he takes ball one, one and two. He's got to 49 Ks on the season. And Granderson, of course, the leadoff guys. And Curtis Granderson, similar as you pointed out, Jerry, last night with the good power numbers, but a guy who does strike out. The Indians are without Casey Blake, the American League Player of the Week. This was a hit on the hand in last night's game. A strange play. For out number two of the ninth inning. As Cleveland tried to come back, he was hit on the hand. A little bit sore. Is available. Uh, come off the bench at some point tonight, but not in the starting lineup. And he was named the American League Player of the Week. Swing and a miss. Sizemore has struck out for the 50th time this season. And Beckett off to the fast start. And Beckett puts him away with the fastball. So in that at bat, a uh, couple of curveballs for Beckett, but the out pitch right there, the fastball at 96 by Sizemore. So one down, and it brings up Johnny Peralta. Peralta with a check swing foul. The shortstop who starts tonight hitting at 283 with 10 homers at 33 runs batted in. Cleveland Indians starting the night with a two and a half game lead over the Detroit Tigers in the American League Central. Breaking ball in there for strike two and it's 0 and 2. I guess the big question is what are the possibilities of it coming back in that area and what is that area looking like right now and is it completely healed as this one is fouled off to the right. Now most of the throwing that Beckett did uh, while on the disabled list uh, was with a band aid on that spot. And of course uh, nobody seems very concerned you know I mean everybody you talk to Terry Francona uh, felt that maybe he could have even gone last time his last start so. 
If there was any question at all, he wouldn't be making the start tonight. Peralta down the first baseline under the glove of Euclid. And into right field over his J.D. Drew. Peralta holds on with a one-out single. The Red Sox defense is brought to you by a Boston area Lexus dealers. They are 10th in the league with 33 errors. Mike Lowell at third base. Julio Lugo the shortstop. Dustin Pedroyer at second. And Kevin Euclid at first. Left to right. Willie Mopena, Coco Crisp, and J.D. Drew. Jason Veritek doing the catching for Beckett. For the umpires tonight, Chuck Merriweather has the plate with Alfonso Marquez at first base, Tim Timmons at second base, and Rick Reed at third base. Where available, this telecast can be heard in Spanish by selecting the SAP button on your television remote. Enjoy the game. Buenas noches, amigos. Travis Hafner, the designated hitter for the Indians. After a 259 to begin the night with nine homers and 33 runs batted in. His 46th game as a DH. He has started three games at first base defensively. And not since April 29th against the Orioles last time he was in there defensively. Oh, and a strike now to Hafner. Hafner three for three in his career against Beckett with a home run. So for his last seven to not have a hit here in last night's game. And it's just four for 27 so far on this road trip for the Indians. And there's a quick check on Peralta who's back to the bag. The key matchup is brought to you by Killians. One of the numbers you mentioned Jerry against Josh Beggin that includes a home run. Indians are in the midst of a nine game road trip. Kansas City, Detroit, and now Boston. They'll wrap it up here tomorrow night before heading home. And as Hafner gets down on the count, one and two. In this lineup tonight, for Eric Wedge of the nine guys, five have faced Beckett in the past. There's a lot of new names. Trot Nixon uh, coming over to the club, and uh, Barfield has not faced him. Rouse has not faced him. Outside two and two now to Hafner. The Indians so far on this road trip are four and three. They took two out of three at Kansas City, then they swept the three game series at Detroit against the Tigers, who are in second place behind them. And of course, dropping last night's first game of this series to the Red Sox. Full count now to Hafner. That base hit that Peralta got was on an 0-2 count, and of course that extends a hitting streak for him to seven games. A ground ball right between the first base bag and Kevin Euclid. Mark Shapiro, the general manager of these Cleveland Indians, weathered a couple of tough years for the Indians, but bouncing back this year. Peralta takes off as Hafner fouls it off to the left. When Francona was asked yesterday about a pitch count for uh, Josh Beckett tonight, he seemed to there's somewhere around 90 pitches in that area. Well, that's the thing. He was able to keep the throwing going during the disabled list stint. You mentioned throwing with the bandage on covering that area, but he was able to throw quite a bit in between. 3 2 Peralta off again. Bat goes flying back into the seats and it is caught in center field by Chris trying to turn it into a double play and he does. The basket grab, the bat in the seats on the broken bat looper, and the Red Sox are out of the first unscathed. Boston coming up.
been here all day. So have I. No, 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 no. I was here first. That's a cardboard cutout. That don't count. You have to go in the back. Introducing revolutionary performance headwear from New Era. Get it at Olympia Sports. No, no, no. It's okay. I'm the MVP. I get to go in first. Oh, 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 oh. My neighbor drove all over town to find the best deal on a cell phone. I just logged on to Let's Talk. They make it easy to compare plans from all major carriers and find cell phone deals that are much cheaper than retail. Like the hot Blackberry Pearl with music and video player, a $369 value, yours free after mail-in rebate and new calling plan. Let's Talk has the best prices, the best plans, and the most free phones guaranteed. Log on to 25letstalk.com or call now to order your Blackberry Pearl. Let's Talk, the smarter way to shop for cell phones. So log on or call now. Hello. Mrs. Anderson, this is Mark Brown. I'm from the collections department. Of Hi. Listen, I'm sorry I haven't made my payment yet. I'll, I'll, I'll get it in as soon as I can. Maybe you should call in charge. They'll work with you and come up with a solution that's right for you. When life hands you a little more than you can manage, call In Charge Debt Solutions. We're a nonprofit company that puts people back in control by helping them manage their debt. We'll stop the collection calls and we'll help lower your interest rates so you'll have one affordable monthly payment. Call In Charge today. Why do I paint my stomach? Maybe a better question is, why don't you paint yours? The ultimate Red Sox highlight, the Dave Robert Steele, the Bloody Sock. I once juggled three hot dogs and two beers all the way back to my seat. That was a good day. Hate is a strong word. Do I hate the Yankees? Yes, I do. Granite City Electric's ultimate Red Sox show with Hazel Bay. Clemens? I'm not familiar with that name. At Fenway, the Indians don't score in the top of the first inning. Red Sox coming up and they face Jeremy Sowers. Well, last the time out picked up his first win. That was against Kansas City. Seven innings in that game, six hits allowed, and only one earned run. Faced the Red Sox one time last year, it was in August, and pitched five innings against the Red Sox, allowing two earned runs. Had a combined record between AAA and Cleveland last year of 16 and 5. Not overpowering. He'll throw two different types of fastballs. The cross seam, the sinking fastball, a slider, and a changeup. Julio Lugo leading it off for the Red Sox here in the bottom of the first inning. And taking a strike to even the count at one and one. And two hits last night and a two for five showing. The first game of the series. He hits at 230 with three home runs and 30 runs batted in. Still just a two for his last 31. Starting his 47th game of the year at shortstop for the Red Sox, possible 51 games. The bunt try to Rouse, barehanded, can't get it, and on is Lugo. You might as well try it. You got a new third baseman down there, and why not try him out early? That's an excellent play by Lugo, and what Rouse did, he came straight in instead of going toward the line. See him charging in. A lot of third basemen will go toward that line first, then charge. And it gives him a better chance and a better angle to make a throw. Tried to barehand it, could never get a grip on it. Second bunt single of the season for Julio Lugo, who is at first base to begin things here in the bottom of the first inning. There's Coco Crisp. Coco showing bunt down the first baseline, and it's foul. That might be a new Red Sox record, two attempted bunts in a row. This was 0 for 4 last night to snap a four game hitting streak. He comes in hitting at 240 for the home run and 15 runs batted in. They've been 6 for 17 in the four game hitting streak. Waiting on an 0 1 pitch from Jeremy Sowers. A pitch out and Lugo not going anywhere at first base. Mentioned Lugo trying out that third baseman Mike Rouse. It's only his fifth start at third base this season for the Indians. Let's 
America, the Red Sox starting nine brought to you by New England Dodge dealers. We've seen Lugo, he's at short, Coco Crisp in center, Kevin Euclid at first base, Manny Ramirez, a designated hitter, JD Drew in right, Mike Lowell at third base, Jason Baratek doing the catching, Willie Mopena in left, and Dustin Bedroy at second base, bats ninth. He's got himself an eight game hitting streak. One and two to Coco Crisp. Lugo was leaning in the wrong direction, but still able to scurry back to the bag. Had a very small lead over at first base and tried to get a walking lead towards second base and was able to adjust and get back on the pickoff attempt. Coco fouls it off to the right. And it hangs at one and two. Jeremy Sowers, born in Clearsville, Ohio, resides in Louisville, Kentucky during the offseason. Player profile is brought to you by Sovereign Bank, the official bank of the Red Sox cable network. Two time first round pick as he was first drafted by the Reds in 2001 and then the Indians. That's a center field as Grady Sizemore is camped underneath and it makes the catch for the first out. Now the Indians defense is brought to you by a New England Ford dealers. They're 11th in the American League with 33 errors in 49 games. Mike Rouse at third base. Johnny Peralta the shortstop. Josh Barfield at second and Ryan Gargo at first left to right. Dave DeLucci, Grady Sizemore and Trot Nixon and Victor Martinez doing the catching for Sowers. That's pretty unusual to be drafted twice in the first round. Generally, you'll see a guy who gets drafted in the late rounds and then decides to go to college instead and try his luck again in the draft and then gets drafted first. Mark Desher is another one of those guys who was drafted by the Red Sox in the first round, did not sign with Boston, and then ended up being the first round draft choice for Texas. But in Jeremy Sauer's case, he elected to go to Vanderbilt and uh, set many of their school records in his junior year before heading out after being drafted by the Indians. That's a very tough decision for a kid coming out of high school especially when you're a number one pick like that you turn down all that money. Unfortunately for Sowers uh, gets the college education and then also comes back as a number one pick so that's very rare. Worked out pretty good for him. Evan Euclid. 354 with seven homers and 28 runs batted in. Euclid beginning the night fourth in the American League in batting average at 354. Jorge Posada on top of the American League hitting at 363. To left field. Back goes DeLucci at the wall. It is off the wall. DeLucci playing the carom over the shoulder falls down as he throws. Lugo trying to score and will the first Boston run of the night. Nicholas extends the hitting streak once again. You know, the amazing thing about this streak of 21 games now for Nicholas in 18 games, he has extended that streak in the first or second at bat. That looked like a slider right there that he plants up against the left field wall. Left the bat, I thought I had a chance to get out of here. Nicholas picks up his 29th RBI. Lugo. Going around second base never gets stopped by DeMalo Hale. He picks it up between second and third and Hale's going to wave him on. And he'll score easily to give the Red Sox the one nothing lead. So the beat goes on for Euclid. Well, he's got at least one RBI in 14 of the last 16 games and tough to be much hotter than he is right now. The Red Sox off to the fast start against Jeremy Sowers and here's Manny Ramirez. It was the Red Sox DH again in tonight's game. And the other thing, Don, too, is through this streak of 21 games now for Euclid, how many different spots in the lineup is he hitting? Yeah. I mean, slips into the three spot with David Ortiz not playing the last couple of games. He's mixed into that five spot a little bit, too, giving J.D. Drew some time off. And Terry Francona wanted to make sure that five spot was well represented behind uh, Ortiz and Ramirez.
Pitch outside to Manny. One and oh. Terry Francona asked before the ball game about David Ortiz and his availability tomorrow and that's still very much up in the air. Now what they have to balance I think is you know you have an off day on Thursday and does the four complete days off uh, of beginning of the week help him you know that's the, that's the thing you put him in tomorrow and he's not 100 percent. You know you've got that off day on Thursday which gives him two more days. Inside it's two and oh. In his last six games hitting at 435. 10 for his last 23. And he hit here last night. It was a big one. It was a home run. His eighth home run of the season. Put it in the monster seats and left. And they're going to put Manny at first base with the count 2 and 0. Oh. So J.D. Drew waits on deck. Third intentional walk of the season for Manny Ramirez. Sox with runners at first and second, one down here in the bottom of the first inning. And here's J.D. Drew. He starts tonight at 238 with two homers and 16 runs batted in. One for two in the game last night with an RBI double. Walked a couple of times. Over the outside corner, and it's a ball and a strike to J.D. Drew. Jeremy Sowers spent the first two and a half months of last year at Triple A Buffalo. He was nine and one with a 1.39 earned run average before his call up. Now with the Indians seven and four on the season, ERA of about three and a half. He had the second best second half earned run average from the All-Star break on, only behind Johan Santana. Uh, Sowers in the second half of his first year in Cleveland, just a 2.72 earned run average. Johan Santana was a 2.54. Just turned 24 years old two weeks ago. And his best stretch was when he won six straight decisions last year between July 22nd and September the 5th. Ground right side. Garko to second base for one. The relay they'll be none. And on to third base goes Euclid. Drew reaches it first, but now there's two down in the inning. Now so far the uh, walk to Manny Ramirez paying off as Garko throws it over that right shoulder to Ramirez. No chance for Peralta to turn the double play on J.D. Drew. So first and third now, two down in the inning, and here's Mike Lowell. Look at 328 with nine homers and 39 runs batted in. Had a hit here last night, one for four with a double and a run batted in. Ball one from Sowers. Lowell eighth in the American League with his 328 batting average to begin the night. Sixth and runs batted in with 39 tied with Justin Morneau. Last year's American League MVP and first baseman for the Twins. Fly ball to center. Grady Sizemore camped underneath. Puts it away. The Red Sox get a run and lead it 1 0 at the end of one.
95 mile an hour fastball will reach home plate in four tenths of a second. Watch every pitch in clear Panasonic motion. Panasonic Plasma for the speed of sports. Panasonic, ideas for life. That's Rusty Wallace, amazing driver. He's also my uh, third cousin once removed. That's his brother, Mike Wallace, driver of the Geico Chevrolet. I can see why Geico sponsors Mike. And when he does well, people will think about saving money on car insurance. Whereas if I were driving that car, all they could think about is, there goes Lauren Wallace, greatest thing that ever climbed into a race car. Poor fella, he has no idea. Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. If you owe over $10,000 to the IRS or state, call American Tax Relief for a free consultation. We've helped thousands of Americans settle their tax debt for a fraction of what they owed. Once we hired American Tax Relief, the IRS stopped contacting us. That was an immediate relief. And they settled our tax debt for a fraction of what we owed. If you owe over $10,000 to the IRS or state, we can help you settle for less, maybe a lot less. Call 800-294-1563 for your free consultation. More inside analysis, more highlights, more exclusive interviews. So much more, we had to call it extra. WB Mason's Extra Innings and Granite City Electric's Extra Innings Extra. Game night, Red Sox Live, Yankees Red Sox Friday at 7 o'clock. Visit Nessa.com for complete information because that's been a big popular hit. I believe this is our second one of the season. Yeah. That has been big, although you haven't had them do anything in the theaters, which was always fun. Ah, maybe this Friday. Yeah. Who knows? You never know, Don. You had people switching seats and doing all kinds of things last year. Victor Martinez, a cleanup hitter for the Indians, leads it off. As we head to the second inning, Martinez, Nixon, and Garko. Face Josh Beckett. Victor Martinez, 315, eight homers and 40 runs batted in off to the fast start. Martinez with a couple of hits here last night, two for four with an RBI in the first game of the series. Looks the fly ball foul down the left field line, back and out of play. First changeup by Beckett to there, so we've seen all his pitches his fastball, his curveball, and his changeup. Changeup going away from Victor Martinez and fouls it toward the end of the bat, off to the third base side. Victor Martinez since the beginning of May over the last 25 games he's hit at 330 with six homers and 21 runs batted in. Now we mentioned those uh, HD game night those are at the showcase cinemas and of course for more information on those visit Nesson.com for a they have a complete schedule on there of the participating uh, theaters and you know what games are going to be on this year so when you get a peek at Nesson.com they'll give you all that information on what games we're going to have in HD and those showcase cinemas and the locations. Nixon waiting on deck. Indians in their blue jerseys tonight they went with the gray jerseys last night mixing it up here a little bit after they lost last night. Martinez hits it high and deep to center field. Chris back onto the track to make the catch front of the wall. And here comes Trot Nixon, night two at Fenway Park. Josh Beckett doing the same thing that Crook Schilling did last night, stepping off the back of the mound and letting this crowd respond to the introduction. Uh, 
for Trot Nixon. Well, Trot settled in very nicely last night after that introduction. Had a single. This time he hits a fly ball to center field at Coco Crisp, and there's two down. Let's check in with Tina Servasio. Tina. All right, Don. Well, earlier Jerry already mentioned how Terry Francona said that Beckett probably could have pitched five days ago, but before the game today, the manager explained why the staff was just being so careful. I think we were probably overly cautious, which I think in the long run will be will be rewarded. He could have pitched the other day, but uh, DLing him and giving him a chance to throw on the side and be ready to come out and pitch, I think, will, is the right thing to do. And now we can go into this start with not as much concern. And now more talk about that infamous Band-Aid. Beckett throws all of his side sessions with a Band-Aid, even when that finger is absolutely perfect, no cut, no blister, nothing. And then when he's warming up in the bullpen before starts, such as today, he wears that Band-Aid. It's always on, except for those last 10 or so pitches, just so he can get a feel for his breaking pitches, and then Beckett's ready to go. Well, Jerry, it appears they have the opportunity to be overly cautious with the lead the Red Sox currently have, not only with Josh Beckett's situation, but with David Ortiz. They get quite the pad right now. This is popped up back a second base into shallow center. In comes Chris. He'll handle all three outs. It's a 10 pitch. One, two, three, second inning for Beckett. I agree, Don. One nothing Red Sox. Friendly's new iced lattes are perfect if you're on the go or if you just want to hang out. Try our new iced mocha latte. We start with rich hot fudge, add a bold blend of Sumatra coffee poured over ice, finished with fresh light cream, Friendly's whipped topping, and a sweet mocha drizzle. Handmade the second you order it in a variety of flavors like regular mocha or caramel. This summer, grab your friends, grab a bite, and chill at Friendly's. So come on, get in, get friendly. Have you heard about the benefits of a reverse mortgage? If you're a homeowner, 62 years or older, and would like to supplement your monthly income, a reverse mortgage could be the key to living comfortably in retirement. U.S. government insured reverse mortgages allow seniors to convert the equity in their home into cash without having to move or make monthly loan payments. We offer a free information kit and video explaining everything you need to know about a reverse mortgage. Call 800-300-4519. My neighbor drove all over town to find the best deal on a cell phone. I just logged on to Let's Talk. They make it easy to compare plans from all major carriers and find cell phone deals that are much cheaper than retail. Like the hot Blackberry Pearl with music and video player, a $369 value, yours free after mail-in rebate and new calling plan. Let's Talk has the best prices, the best plans, and the most free phones guaranteed. Log on to 25letstalk.com or call now to order your Blackberry Pearl. Let's Talk, the smarter way to shop for cell phones. So log on or call now. It's going to be great seeing those people and, and going back there and uh, hopefully beat the Red Sox uh, three games in a row. They'll miss our old friend Trot Nixon and his return to Boston as he and the tribe invade Fenway Park. Tomorrow in HD, it's the Sox and the Indians. Free game coverage begins at 6, only on Nesson. Last half of the second inning, Red Sox on top, one nothing. The bottom third of the order, Veritek, Pena, and Pedroia. They made a no-no at the end of last inning. I brought up the topic with two outs, which is uh, bad, bad, bad in our business. But Jerry, uh, it does appear that the Red Sox do have that chance so with the leeway they have to let some of these guys come back on their timetables. Uh, yeah, that, it certainly makes a difference when you have an 11 and a half game lead over the Baltimore Orioles right now. You can uh, afford to give a guy an extra day or two to make sure things are right. But you know, I think in Beckett's case, regardless of what the situation, it's still so early in the season that I'm sure they would have done the same thing. Thing about it is, is the Red Sox have a pretty deep club, you know. And uh, for example, a position player like David Ortiz misses a couple of games. You go to Ortiz hotter than a pistol right now. You put him in the three spot, he continues to hit. They get veteran guys on the bench, guys like Cora Hinsky, you know. So they're pretty deep. They, they're pretty deep on the bench. And um, but you never like to see a starting pitcher miss a turn at all. Uh, but the fact of it, it's only two, and it's only this time of the season. That's a great thing. And in his absence, it's not like the Red Sox missed a whole lot. They didn't miss a beat, playing very good baseball as Veritex retired at first base, four to three, one down. 
Tomorrow night at 6, tune in to the pregame show early for the Domino's Game Time Delivery offer and find out how you can win a Domino's Pizza Party at Nesson and Donacillo's office. Don't miss out. Catch the pregame show tomorrow at 6 for this week's Domino's Game Time Delivery offer. It's great. You're going to have a clown there. You're yeah. going to have balloons. Balloon guy. And yeah. by the office. Have some pizza. You get to see Don's little baseball caps that he has all over. He changes them when the standings change. <laughs> Willie Mo Pena back in left field for the Red Sox follows the first pitch off. You know, quite honestly, I don't understand. And of course, I guess it's not my business because I don't run Nesson, but it would kind of make sense to have tours through Nesson, wouldn't it? Sure. I mean, see the HD studios, meet some of the personalities who are there, see your office, uh, see Tom Karen's office, see the green room. I mean, I think people would be interested in stuff like that. Yeah. And they're beautiful studios. They are. Picturesque studios in Watertown, Massachusetts. Brand new studios. Yeah, I would think there'd be a great deal of interest in going through Nesson. Yeah, one thing, people love to be on TV, you know, and yeah. you could you can actually put them in HD there, you know, with the big cameras and let them sit at the maybe TC's desk. Oh, I don't know about that. I think old TC would like that really oh, though. TC you? would love that. The ball and a strike to Willie Mo Pena. And you're hitting at 250, three homers and six runs batted in. Uh, we'll no getting a chance to play a couple of games in a row here. And it's 0 for 4 in the ball game last night. Two of his three home runs were off left-handed pitchers. Framed by Martinez, but it's ball two, two and two. Justin Pedroia waiting on deck as the Red Sox take a one nothing advantage here into the bottom of the second inning. Sowers gave up a run in the first inning. We get out of any further trouble. Red Sox left runners at first and third. And we got Mike Lowell to fly out to center field for the final out of the first inning. The Red Sox seeing back to back left handers in Pena in their back to back nights. With Ortiz out, Manny goes into that uh, DH spot, gives him a chance to rest his legs a little bit. Fouled off again, and the bat continues for Willie Mo Pena. A seven pitch at bat so far. Yeah, man, he's played in more games than anybody else so far this season. Tonight marks his 50th game of a possible 51. I and mean, that's really no different than any other year. I mean, in their every day with the exception of the end of last year. To center field, struck well by Willie Mopena. Sizemore is back and he makes the catch over the shoulder right in front of the wall. What a catch by Grady Sizemore. Boy, he got a great jump on that too. And that's hard to do. A ball that's directly over the center fielder's head. Grady Sizemore covered an awful lot of ground and this is a kind of a line drive. It's not a fly ball where he has a lot of chance to get under it. Checks the wall makes the catch and then hits the padding on the wall. It's amazing to me how outfielders can take their eye off the baseball like that to check out where they are and then turn around and pick up the baseball again. Running as hard as they can. Exactly. The yeah. eyes are bouncing all over the place. Mr. Pedroia bats with two down and the base is empty. Pedroia 298, two homers and 10 runs batted in. And a very good stretch right now. It's three for three. A couple of doubles last night. And as he pops it up, foul ground. Martinez and Garko. It's Garko, the first baseman, who makes the catch, and it's a 1 2 3 second inning for Jeremy Sowers. We played two, it's 1 0 Boston.
match point here in the finals of the World Championships. Yang and Lau, two giants of the game facing two giants. David Ortiz and Brian Erlaka always liked the Game of Kings, were having a couple of vitamin water passes packed with vitamin C and taurine, and Ortiz said, let's try it, baby. Yang and Lau, both well back, reluctant to play the net. Yang, psychologically broken. Let's go to that replay. Embarrassing. Yang serves. Erlika returns. Yang volleys. Ortiz is a powerful smash, and that will do it. Wait, Lau is down. No, he's injured. The shuttlecock is lodged in Lau's leg in an eerie repeat of the quarterfinals against Olofsson and Jensen. Vitamin water. Try it. Hello. Mrs. Anderson, this is Mark Brown. I'm from the collections department of... Hi. Listen, I'm sorry I haven't made my payment yet. I'll, I'll, I'll get it in as soon as I can. Maybe you should call in charge. They'll work with you and come up with a solution that's right for you. When life hands you a little more than you can manage, call In Charge Debt Solutions. We're a nonprofit company that puts people back in control by helping them manage their debt. We'll stop the collection calls and we'll help lower your interest rates so you'll have one affordable monthly payment. Call In Charge today. Will spin up to 30 times a second and break as much as 17 inches. Watch every pitch in clear Panasonic motion. Panasonic Plasma for the speed of sports. Panasonic, ideas for life. One to nothing, Red Sox on top as we head to the top half of the third inning. The bottom third of the Indians order. David DeLucci, Josh Barfield, and Mike Rouse. And it's a very good beginning tonight for Josh Beckett. Through the first two innings, he's allowed just one hit. David DeLucci, 238, two homers and nine runs batted in. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be rusty at all, Don. He's been around that strike zone, hasn't walked anybody. David DeLucci had a hit here last night, was one for three in the game. Signed by the Indians as a free agent this past offseason. Fly ball to right field. J.D. Drew's got it lined up. And there's one out. Boston Red Sox baseball on Nesson is brought to you by Honda. Olympia Sports, the official sporting goods retailer of the New England Sports Network. And by Dunkin' Donuts. Well, he's been throwing strikes tonight. About to throw his 30th pitch of the night. And despite giving up a single in the first inning, he's faced the minimum because he was able to erase Johnny Peralta as part of a double play and a fly out by Travis Hapner, which ended the first inning. Here's Josh Barfield, the son of Jesse Barfield, a longtime major leaguer. Josh Barfield coming over from the San Diego Padres. 237, two homers, and 24 runs batted in so far. Trying to kick it that time it was Beckett, but a nice play turned in by Lugo, grabs it back by second base and throws out Barfield. Did that get a piece of Beckett? Because that looked like it slowed up a lot. Yeah, it did seem to slow down. Unless it hit the front of the mound. Let's take another look. This ball looked like it was headed back up the middle. I think it just hit the top of the mound and that slowed it up. And it gave Lugo a chance to get to it. Beckett does try to kick it, but I don't think he yeah. makes contact with it. I think it's just the front of the mound that it hits, and it just kind of bounced straight up after that. Yeah, it didn't look like he got it on the replay. As there's two down, six to three on the put out of Barfield. Mike Rouse in the lineup tonight. And the start at third base. Casey Blake, the hand bothering him a little bit tonight after being struck by a pitch. One time member of the uh, Oakland Athletics organization claimed off waivers last September. So for his last 10, and has been used primarily as a pinch hitter. He's 0 for 5 as a pinch hitter. It falls behind two and one. Mike Rouse from San Jose, California. 
And played in eight games with the Oakland A's last year. His only major league experience prior to coming to the Cleveland Indians. Covidian Tyco Healthcare's new name is a proud sponsor of the Boston Red Sox and the Red Sox Foundation, helping to raise money for life saving cancer research. Two and two to Mike Rouse. Pops it up foul. Lowell giving chase, but that'll get back into the seats. Cleveland starting the night seventh in the American League in batting average as a team, hitting a 271. Red Sox are third, and the Mariners and Tigers. The Mariners setting the pace right now in the American League, hitting a 281 as a team. On the dirt. And as far as runs score, the Tigers have moved just ahead of Cleveland, who is second. The Red Sox third in runs scored in the American League. We're talking about the difference in this year's Cleveland Indians team. At this point last year, they had seven saves and a 4.50 earned run average. This year, at this time, the Indians with 17 saves. Fourth in the American League. As a swing and a miss for a round second strikeout for Beckett. Two and a half done, one nothing Red Sox. The new luxury crossover, Lincoln MKX. It gets the best in class highway fuel economy. The new Lincoln MKZ gets a fuel efficient 27 miles per gallon. Both give you the confidence of all wheel drive. Welcome to a smart and luxurious commute. Now lease the Lincoln MKX for just $3.99 a month, or lease the Lincoln MKZ for just $3.39 a month, plus a complimentary three year, 30,000 mile premium maintenance plan. See your New England Lincoln Mercury dealer today. When you're on the go, you need the convenience, quality, and pricing that you'll always find at ExtraMart. Convenience. Everything you need is priced right and ready to go. Quality. ExtraMart has their own extra cafe gourmet coffee, delicious deli joe sandwiches, and extra fuels gasoline. Great prices. ExtraMart features everyday low prices and value specials. All this month at ExtraMart, 32 ounce vitamin water is specially priced at just two for three dollars. In every corner of New England, ExtraMart is just around your corner. About those guys. I am just so sick of this. Dude, what do you expect? You went with Geico.com. What, to save some money? It's my life, okay? Just a little loyalty would be nice, that's all. What? Having Geico makes me less of a caveman? Tina's here, we're getting back together. Hey, give us a minute. Geico.com. So easy a caveman can do it. If you owe over $10,000 to the IRS or state, call American Tax Relief for a free consultation. We've helped thousands of Americans settle their tax debt for a fraction of what they owed. Once we hired American Tax Relief, the IRS stopped contacting us. That was an immediate relief. And they settled our tax debt for a fraction of what we owed. If you owe over $10,000 to the IRS or state, we can help you settle for less, maybe a lot less. Call 800-294-1563 for your free consultation. Last half of the third inning from Fenway Park with the Red Sox on top, one to nothing. It's the top of the Red Sox order: Julio Lugo, Coco Crisp, and Kevin Euclid. Is Jeremy Sowers give up a first inning run, retire the side in order in the second inning. Lugo got it started for the Red Sox in the first with a bunt single. And came around to score the run. On the outside corner, and Lugo's down 0 2. Didn't like either pitch. Change up from Sowers, and Lugo thought this ball was down and away. This time down and in, and it's 1 and 2.
Indians are eighth in the American League in earn run average as a staff 4.43 coming in softly grounded at Garko. He'll take it himself for the first out of the inning. We check back in with Tina Servacio. The big debate continues in the Red Sox clubhouse between Kevin Euclid and Dustin Pedroia. Who's faster? It keeps going on. And to stir the pot, last night after his inside the park home run, Kevin Euclid told me that on Pedroia's double to right, he would have been on third. That, I, see, I didn't want to get thrown out because, you know, two outs, a smart play. I know when I hit second, I started laughing at him because he was yelling at me, but no, it's, it's, it's all good. What did you say to him when he came around home and he, he was so emotional in the dugout there? I was just laughing because, I, I mean, it hit off the wall pretty good. I knew he was going to score, so uh, it was just funny watching him run. <laughs> and even after all of that, Pedroia is still convinced he's 15 steps faster than Euclid. Wow, that's a lot of steps faster. <laughs> Well, I guess the debate will go on and on, but uh, Euclid was seriously out of gas when he was done last night coming all the way around. Well, there's only one way to settle it, and that's to have a 60 yeah. yard dash. See if those 15 steps are uh, correct. Euclid doubled first time up to knock in the Red Sox run tonight. With that double now, 21 straight games with a hit. Down 0 and 2. The league leaders are brought to you by Olympia Sports. American League leaders in hitting streaks. Euclid with 21 ties Ichiro. When Ichiro was here at Seattle, had a tough series, but he's up to 335 now for a batting average in the top 10. Well, it's eight straight games. The Euclid has had two or more hits. The longest streak of consecutive multi hit games by a Red Sox player since Jim Rice had nine in a row, May 1st through the 9th of 1978. On the ground by the dive of the third baseman, but Peralta's long throw is picked out of the dirt nicely by Garko. Dug it out and on the stretch, able to retire Euclid. We played three. It's one nothing Boston. Three snowy channels of TV one day, and then something called cable brings competition. And I've never been the same since. Hundreds of channels, clear as a bell. Remember that old dial-up phone modem? Slow. Then cable pushes the internet to lickety split. Cables into phones now and brought prices down. Quality went up and just one easy bill. Cable competes, hon, and you and I win. Looking for a change of scenery, the chance to see the country, and to meet new people? Northeast Technical Institute can give you the skills you need to earn your commercial driver's license, an important step for anyone interested in professional truck driving. At Northeast Technical Institute, you'll get the hands-on training that can start you down the road to a whole new life. Call Northeast Technical Institute right now at 1-800-447-1151. That's 1-800-447-1151. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. This summer, the American road is calling. Get there at the Chevy Memorial Day Sale. For seven short days, get 0% financing, plus $1,000 bonus cash on select 07s. Hurry, sale ends May 31st. Shop and compare at MainDriveChevy.com. Play their first ever series at Fenway Park next month, and you have a chance to witness this occasion from the Green Monster seats. The Red Sox Foundation is auctioning off Green Monster ticket packages for the Saturday, June 16th game that include a chance to watch batting practice from the Monster seats, complimentary food and beverages, and much more. To win, to your chance to win and benefit the Red Sox Foundation, visit RedSox.com and click the Foundation Ticket Auction link. Red Sox Nation from Rutland, Vermont. 
here at the ball game tonight. One nothing Red Sox on top as we head to the top half of the fourth inning. Grady Sizemore, Johnny Peralta, Travis Hafner. Out here in the fourth inning, Josh Beckett has thrown 38 pitches through the first three innings tonight. Sizemore, a strikeout victim in the first one of two strikeouts tonight for Josh Beckett. He also struck out Mike Rouse to conclude last inning. Tonight attempting to become the 10th pitcher in Red Sox history to win his first eight decisions in a season. The last was a reliever Rich Garces won his first eight decisions. El Guapo. The last starter to do so was Roger Clemens. In 1986 uh, won his first 14 beginning 14 and 0 in 1986. I was watching a Roger Clemens press conference after his outing uh, was it last night. And yeah. uh, he looked awful ornery about something. I, I didn't no. get the whole interview. I don't know, you know, what ticked him off, but somebody did by some question. Swing and a miss. Sizemore down on strikes for the second time tonight. And again, that excellent curveball from Josh Beckett. So uh, the layoff has not hurt Beckett at all to this point in the game. He's thrown all his pitches, his fastball, his curveball, and his changeup, and he's got outs with all of them. One down for Johnny Peralta single to right field the only base runner of the night so far for the Indians. The one thing Beckett has received this season is run support. Prior to going on to the disabled list the Red Sox had scored 51 runs while Beckett has been in the game. Averaging a major league best 9.06 runs per nine innings. Now he's getting the most on the Red Sox uh, pitching staff at 7.6. Matt Suzaka is next with seven runs per game. And then you go to Schilling at 5.3. Yo Yo Tavares at 4.2. And Wakefield at 3.9. In the dirt outside, and it's three and one. Beckett with 38 wins since he started 2005, fifth most of the majors in that span. And 15 wins for the Marlins in 2005. And that's something the Indians didn't see a year ago a 3 1 change up from Josh Beckett. Sitting on the fastball Beckett comes with the change up even though it's 88 miles an hour off speed enough to fool Peralta. This is up top and Peralta aboard again second time tonight this time he walks with one out in the inning. Gives us a chance to check out the Aflac trivia question tonight. And the question is which two active Major League Baseball managers have led the Indians to an American League Central title? And we'll have the answer for you a little bit later. I know one of them. Actually, I think I know two of them. One's in the American League, one's in the National League, I think. I think. Yeah. Hafner shops it outside of first and foul. And we're here at Fenway Park in Boston. Don Orsillo, Jerry Remy, and Tina Savasio bringing you Boston Red Sox baseball in high definition and in Dolby Digital 5.1 surround sound on Nesson. A beautiful night last night, a beautiful night tonight as we play here into the fourth inning with one out Red Sox. Have a one nothing advantage, thanks to an RBI double in the first inning by Kevin Euclid, who extends the hitting streak to 21 games. Some grounded foul and a hard hop, but Euclid plays it in foul ground. 0 2. Now these are just perfect conditions for everybody. The fans very comfortable, great for the players. 
warm enough but no humidity. If every day could be like this, huh? Ooh, tremendous. Ground towards second. Bedroya to second for one. A throw to first. In time. Kind of slow and developing, but it all works out. Inning ending double play. One nothing. Red Sox lead. Hey, boss. Do we have Aflac? Nah, we have something else. But if you're hurt and miss work, does it pay cash like Aflac does? Nah. Or let you spend it any way you want, like for gas and groceries? Nah. Or help with everyday bills like Aflac does? Nah, nah, nah. There's only one Aflac. Ask about it at work. Nice try, boss. Nah, Aflac. Is it time to replace that old lawnmower? If so, here are some tips from Briggs & Stratton on how to select the right mower for your lawn. First, the engine is the most important part of your lawnmower. Look for a reliable engine that starts easily and has the power you need. When comparing engines, the higher the torque rating, the more powerful the engine. Whether you have a small flat yard or a large yard with uneven terrain, select a push mower for more exercise or a self-propelled mower with the engine and features you need. For more information, visit BriggsAndStratton.com. things are made these days, it's just plain wrong. I disagree. Did you taste your sandwich? The spices are blended right into the bread. Mm. Yes, I see your point. And for only 99 cents. I take back what I said. Introducing the new 99 cent Buffalo Crispy Chicken Sandwich. With a fiery taste, it's built just right. That's right. Of plumbing, heating, and cooling supplies for the Boston Red Sox. To learn more about how FW Web can help you, contact your local professional contractor or visit fwweb.com. FW Web, we've got it. Last half of the fourth inning, Manny Ramirez, JD Drew, and Mike Lowell. And the Red Sox on top, one nothing. Manny intentionally walked in the first inning by the Cleveland starter, Jeremy Sowers. Victory last time out for Sowers at Kansas City, part of this road trip. So he went seven innings, giving up six hits and a run. He walked one, struck out one. He 94 pitches in the victory over the Royals. And it's his only win of the year as he comes in at one and four into tonight's action. 6.29 earned run average. Hard hit, but right to Mike Rouse at third base. He throws out Ramirez for the first out. Let's check out the answer to tonight's Aflac trivia question. Which two active Major League Baseball managers have led the Indians to AL Central titles? And the answer, Mike Hargrove and Charlie Manuel. Hargrove doing it from 1995 through 1999, and Charlie Manuel doing it in 2001. Of course, uh, Hargrove. Manual managing in the major leagues as we speak. Ground ball to second base. Barfield throws to first to retire. JD Drew quickly two down. I was sure about Hogrove because uh, yeah. uh, that's the team that uh, Manny played on. Uh, yeah. A few of those teams, and uh, I wasn't quite sure about Charlie Manuel, but uh, yeah, Charlie Manuel, exactly right. 
Well, the Philadelphia Phillies are seven games behind the Mets to begin the night. The Seattle Mariners putting on a little bit of a charger, playing much better baseball this season for Mike Cargrove. And they're three and a half games back of the Angels. Mike Bowl fly to center in his first time up. Charlie Manuel having some health problems throughout his stint with Cleveland as the manager. Grady Little doing some managing in his absence at the time. So fouled off to the right. It's good to see the Indians playing good baseball once again, too. I mean, such a, a great franchise over the last few years. All those sellouts, and the longest consecutive sellout streak in the major leagues at Jacobs Field. They, Took a step back, basically told their fans they're going to have to be patient for a while while we redo all this and all the uh, rebuild really from the start and broke it up into a bunch of different parts and went with youth for a while and boy it was ugly there for quite a few years. Well, they timed that thing perfectly. You know, they they opened up that brand new ballpark in downtown Cleveland, just a beautiful ballpark and kind of revitalized the whole downtown area. And in the meantime, they had a lot of good young players coming up through their system. The year before last they kind of put it all together made the run for the postseason just missed it and figured that last year they're going to build on that that kind of momentum and it just didn't happen last year. That's you know, funny Don because all the years that I played we played at that old ballpark and you didn't realize they had that many people that lived in the Cleveland area. I mean like six thousand to go to a game you know at the old place. On the ground softly by the mound Barfield is there again. And Lowell is gone. It's another one two three inning and it's ten in a row retired by Jeremy Sowers. It's one nothing Red Sox. With convenient flights every day Southwest Airlines gives you the freedom to do business out of town and still come home at night. Winston I'm home. With 23 daily non-stops from Manchester and Providence to Baltimore, Washington, Southwest is taking low fares farther. You are now free to move about the country. If you don't build the right deck in the first place, time and weather will just wear it away. So we engineered and treated our LP Weather Best decking so it looks beautiful, lasts longer, and needs less maintenance. That leaves more time for what you really want to do on a deck. Nothing at all. We're not looking for a genius grant, just ways to make life easier. That's what we do. We make the products that build the homes simply better. LP Building Products. Build with us. The factories are begging for new business. That's why Bob can sell your recliners for only $2.99. Not one, not two, not three, not four, not five. But six recliners, even in leather. Your choice of six styles, only $2.99 each. It's mind-boggling. So buy now, while the factories really need the business. The competition busted. <clears throat> Ford F-150. We're sorry, you can't match Dodge Ram 1500's available 345 horsepower Hemi V8. And Chevy, Toyota. We're sorry Ram Mega Cab is bigger and roomier than your Silverado and Tundra. And since Ram is the longest lasting, most durable family of full size trucks, we'll be apologizing to the competition for a long, long time. Biggest, baddest, boldest. See the New England Dodge dealers for a test drive today. This is brought to you by the Health Connector. Cover your bases, connect to health. And it was Josh Beckett against Grady Sizemore. And in this at bat, Sizemore saw all the pitches of Beckett, a change up to start him off. And Beckett goes to the fastball down and in. Another fastball that Sizemore falls off, and then he puts him away with the curveball. Pitching line is brought to you by Nissan. And for Josh Beckett, through four innings, just the one hit that was back in the first inning. A couple of double plays turned by the Red Sox. Three strikeouts for Beckett so far. Victor Martinez leads it off here in the top half of the fifth. Fly to the warning track in center field first time up. So 
Sliced foul off to the left and it's 0 and 2. Only two base runners tonight and it's the same guy Johnny Peralta he singled in the first and walked last inning and that's been it. It's Josh Beckett he's retired everybody else. Josh Beckett who misses two starts and we talked about it off the top tonight in our open it's amazing how many categories he's still near the top in despite missing those two starts and in some he's even gotten better. Watch in the dirt and the count now two and two. Where he was when he left May 13th game with the avulsion. He's actually third now in opposing batting average, so he's improved in that regard as far as who's ahead of him. Tied now with Dice Game on Suzaka for victories. This one fouled back to the backstop, two and two. And Dice K makes the start here tomorrow night after uh, battling the flu in his last outing down in Texas, but back at uh, full strength, I would say. And Ready to take the mound for Terry Francona. This can't be matched up against Paul Bird, who's off to a fantastic start. For the Indians, 5 and 1, with a 3.81 earned run average. Victor Martinez becomes the fourth strikeout victim of the night for Josh Beckett. And again, uh, the fastball from Beckett. Three of the four of strikeouts have been with the fastball. The, the other one was a curveball of Sizemore. Second strikeout high eight. Did that against the Seattle Mariners. One down, and here's Trot Nixon. Flied out to center field first time up. Type signs for Trot Nixon in his return in this series. That sign was out at the hot dog stand prior to the game. I think I signed it. Yeah, that's my scribble. Trot Nixon signs everywhere on Yawkey Way. And strike to Trot. It's two and one. A look back. Chuck Merriweather. the 40th game that Trot has played in this season. And the key for Trot is staying healthy as we all know. And so far he has been as a member of the Indians this season. And it is that reckless and abandon which he plays with that sometimes is detrimental to Trot Nixon. Ground down the first baseline. Euclid secures it. Going to need help. Back it's there for the out. And there's two down. Well, Trot Nixon, of course, is always charging and crashing into the walls for the Red Sox. He would just go till he couldn't go any farther. And uh, he banged into a few here at Fenway Park and also on the road. Last year for the Red Sox in his final season in Boston playing 114 games. And go back to the championship season and during the regular season of that year playing only 48 games. And the injury was just following him around those last couple of years. To third base and on the half hop roll has got it. It is another 1-2-3 inning for Josh Beckett. Halfway through this one it's a one nothing Boston lead. Toyota 
Toyota's 50th anniversary celebration is on now with the biggest Toyota selection in history. Check out the Tundra Double Cab, a true workhorse, and the Tundra Crew Max has arrived. It's the most spacious Tundra yet. Right now, you could save with a special Toyota 50th anniversary lease on a Tundra Double Cab. Just $2.89 a month for 36 months with $19.99 due at signing. Toyota's 50th anniversary celebration ends June 4th. See your New England Toyota dealer now. The most realistic baseball sim ever. MLB 07 The Show, only on PlayStation. Rated E for everyone. with a taste as big as Canada. Molson Canadian, here's to good nature. Have you heard about the benefits of a reverse mortgage? If you're a homeowner, 62 years or older, and would like to supplement your monthly income, a reverse mortgage could be the key to living comfortably in retirement. U.S. government insured reverse mortgages allow seniors to convert the equity in their home into cash without having to move or make monthly loan payments. We offer a free information kit and video explaining everything you need to know about a reverse mortgage. Call 800-300-4519. Remember that if you need medical care while at Fenway, visit the Beth Israel Deaconess First Aid Stand behind Section 12. Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center is the official hospital of the Boston Red Sox. Last half of the fifth inning back at Fenway Park. Red Sox on top, 1-0. Now as Jason Baratek leads it off for the Red Sox gets Jeremy Sowers who has now retired the last 10 Red Sox in a row. Baratek grounded out to second base first time up. You know Don you asked me on the last trip about the blood drive that the revenue report sponsored up in Springfield at the uh, Mercy Medical Center. We're happy to announce that we uh, raised over 200 pints of blood. That's pretty good. Very nice. That's very impressive uh, showing up there in Springfield. So thank you for everybody that came out. And of course, with that, they got autographed T-shirts and a chance to win two tickets to a game in September here at Fenway. One other thing: yesterday I was down at the hot dog stand, and for the first time, I met a lady who won the two free tickets that I give away every day. Yep. And of course, she had a nice pizza at the two cheese and soft drinks, and came to the game, and she was so happy. And there were other people around saying, well, is it too late to sign up to win tickets? No, it's never too late. You can always become a Rem Dog Nation member. And those who sign up, if they sign up tonight, they still have a chance to win free tickets for the rest of the year. A lot of games left here at Fenway. So there is no cutoff date. No cutoff date. Veritek hits it high and deep up by the light towers and gone over everything. The captain on his fifth home run of the year puts the Red Sox on top two to nothing and a mammoth blast it was. Now Baratek now with five on the season three of those coming from the right side of the plate he gets that looks like a cut fastball and he just absolutely loses this into the twilight up over everything in left field. Well, that's breaking up a string as 10 in a row had been retired by Sowers. Jason Veritek with his fifth home run of the year is really Mo with a swing and a miss, one and one.
Kennedy flying to the warning track in center field first time up back in the second inning. Daniel strikes out first strike out of the night for Sowers. But Jerry we've talked a great deal about the Sox appeal this season and here tonight the first taping of the first show that will premiere on July 18th after the All Star break. Now this is the third uh, young lady who is yeah. right now being interviewed by this gentleman mm -hmm. as they date. Now what I didn't realize was that your line of how you doing. It, it, you're there for two innings and sometimes these two innings can take a very long time. I mean you're going to have a lot more smack than how you doing. Yeah. And it's run a little thin. I noticed the first two we've kind of been peeking in from time to time. Yeah, you know, I've been. Uh, this is uh, the first of what eight eight shows they're going to yeah. tape. Now it's uncomfortable because you got a camera right in your face. I mean, so you got to be right on target with everything. You think they notice that? Uh, probably so. <laughs> um, but we've been able to take a glimpse, you know, of uh, this is the third lady now that's uh, with this gentleman, and um, you know, it's hard to predict. It really yeah. is. It's hard to predict. Um, I have a personal favorite that I think that yeah. he may choose. I'm not sure she's going to accept, but we'll see. Now that's all coming up. When is that in June? Uh, July 18th. July 18th. The All Star yeah. break. Now see, I have no idea. I don't want to give any of these trade secrets away. I know Russ Ken's very nervous right now as we discuss yeah. this. But I really, I don't. I, we've seen all three, and all three it seems to be going very well. So I don't agree. You don't think so? No, I don't agree. To center field and in for a hit. Now as Sizemore cuts it off, but it's a one-out single for Pedroia. So what it is, it's 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 three dates of two innings each. So this right. gentleman has two innings to throw his stuff on the young lady, and then in the seventh inning stretch, he makes a decision on which one he would like to date, and then she can say no. Right. But well, that's the that's the thing. That's it? the tough. Yeah, that's the tough thing. He's got to figure that out. So, as I said, we've been peeking in, and you've seen some signs of flirtatious looks. Uh, the you know the throwing of the hair. Uh, the grabbing of the ear, you know, certain things that lead you to believe that maybe one may have, a, you know, a little advantage over the other. But there's one that I think is out already. I, that's just my personal feeling. Oh, you've already got somebody out. Yeah. This looks to be going well. She seems very interested. He should make eye contact. But he's got to look at. Oh, it. It's hard though. She's she decided to sit right next to him. Huh? She sat right next to him. It's kind of tough. And she's the first one that pulled in right yeah. next to him. Yeah. The other ones were across where he could make eye contact. Yeah, but you've got to make eye contact. You can't be looking at the camera. I and mean, this guy's a, looks like he's a camera now. You know. Now she has not left his eyes. Notice. Yeah. She's locked in and look. Oh, look at that look. See. Yeah. Big smile. So I, you know, it's going to be good. Does the camera have to be that close? Yeah, it does. Because uh, that's Hollywood. That could be an issue. Back to the bag at first is Pedroia as they check on him. They've been a beautiful night for yeah. romance. Right, when you think about it, just gorgeous. Oh, is that a full moon? Completely full? It's pretty close. So we're going to miss. And a ball and two strikes. We go with a bunt single in the first came around to score. Rounded out to first base in the third inning. Red Sox have added a run here in the bottom of the fifth thanks to the leadoff home run by Jason Veritek. Ray has got himself a single at first base with one down. Well, another argument that leads in Euclid's favor, he's got two steals. Pedroia does yet have one on the season. Pedroia's minor league numbers from last year he had just one in 111 games in Pawtucket. T 
10 steals in the minor leagues altogether. He had a seven steal season back in 2005 at the Portland Sea Dogs. One and two the count. And it's outside to Lugo to even the count now at two and two. On deck is Coco Chris Red Sox batting here in the bottom of the fifth inning. On top two nothing now of the Cleveland Indians. On the ground softly towards Peralta flipped a second for one no chance of the speed of Lugo to turn two. But they do get the lead runner and Dustin Pedroia at second base and there's two down in the inning. The road to Fenway continues Thursday night at McCoy Stadium as the Pawtucket Red Sox take on the Columbus Clippers live at 7 o'clock. See the stars of tomorrow play today, Thursday night at 7 only on Netson. You know, infielders can read whether they're going to be able to make a double play or not. And of course, with Lugo's speed, Peralta knew right away that there was not going to be a chance for a deuce. So he just took his time, gave a nice underhand flip to Barfield to get the sure out. Then Barfield. <laughs> Some reason he thought he could turn the double play, but there was no rush by Peralta, and of course at first base, not even close to, to get Lugo. Chris about after the first pitch from Sowers grounds it foul down by the shoe tops. Coco's done the same thing twice tonight. That's fly out to his counterpart in center field, Grady Sizemore. When you think about that dating game, Sox appeal. Yep. Actually, these innings have gone pretty quick tonight. Yeah. In the early going, so there hasn't been a lot of time for, for them. You know, tougher to make his decision. <laughs> On the ground, Peralta to the backhand goes to second for the first out that ends the fifth. A solo home run by Jason Veritek has the Red Sox on top now, two nothing. It's highly refined. It's imported by the barrel. And it's another thing you shouldn't guzzle while driving. Now Dodge goes the distance with our most fuel-efficient lineup ever, like Charger with 28 highway miles per gallon. Caliber with 32 highway miles per gallon. And the all-new Avenger SE with 30 highway miles per gallon. Maximize your miles with our most fuel-efficient line of vehicles ever. Now get 0% financing plus $500 bonus cash on Charger and Avenger. Okay, someone tries to take your Sierra Mist. What do you do? You grab his wrist. No. You ask him to grab your wrist. No. Come on, people. Your Sierra Mist looks icy cold and refreshing to those bad guys. And when they reach for it, what do you do? Oh, oh, coach. I go, get out of here! Are you registered for this class? Sierra Mist has a new main squeeze. Try new Sierra Mist Lemon Squeeze and get an extra squeeze of flavor. Now available at Cumberland Farms. Hey. What? We were waiting here all day. So have I. No, 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 no. I was here first. Hey, As a cardboard cutout, that don't count. You have to go in the back. Introducing revolutionary performance headwear from New Era. Get it at Olympia Sports. No, 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 it's okay. I'm the MVP, I get to go in first. Oh, 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 oh. My neighbor drove all over town to find the best deal on a cell phone. I just logged on to Let's Talk. They make it easy to compare plans from all major carriers and find cell phone deals that are much cheaper than retail. Like the hot Blackberry Pearl with music and video player, a $369 value, yours free after mail-in rebate and new calling plan. Let's Talk has the best prices, the best plans, and the most free phones guaranteed. Log on to 25letstalk.com or call now to order your Blackberry Pearl. Let's Talk, the smarter way to shop for cell phones. So log on or call now. Two to nothing. The Red Sox on top now as we head to the top half of the sixth inning. It's David DeLucci leading it off. As he fly to right field first time up. Yeah. 
Richie Barfield and Rouse in the inning. Lincoln with four strikeouts tonight. He's walked one and given only one hit up, and that came back in the first inning. Johnny Peralta single to right. Fly ball center field. Coco Crisp makes the catch route number one. Well, the New York Yankees come back to Boston this weekend for a three game series. Nesson's continuing rivalry coverage kicks off with Friday Night Fenway, presented by Team Sully Mack, live at 5 30. Start your weekend early with Friday Night Fenway because the earlier you turn on Nesson, the sooner we can get you into the big game. One down here in the sixth inning brings up Josh Barfield, who grounded out to shortstop first time up. Another good change up there from Josh Beckett. That one uh, had almost looked like a screwball going down and into a uh, bar field. Well it looks like Beckett hasn't missed a beat huh. Not at all. No, skip the beat I guess you should say. Yeah. Missed skip. Another change up back to back change ups. This time away from bar field. Down for Beckett. Most he's thrown in any inning was the first 16. Dealing with Josh Barfield, whose first year in the big leagues was last year. Look onto the scene in 150 games as a member of the San Diego Padres. 13 homers, 58 runs batted in. Spending the entire season in the major leagues, stole 21 bases in 26 attempts. Strikes out this time, five Ks for Josh Beckett. Now, uh, three changeups in that at bat to Barfield and puts him away on a changeup. So we mentioned, you know, in the open, Don, that the Indians would see a different pitcher than they saw a year ago, and they have seen a different pitcher tonight. And the thing that's impressed me with the layoff, only one walk in the ball game that came back in the fourth inning, it was quickly erased by a double play. You know, those two starts against the Indians, which he had a 13.97 earned run average in the two games, and one of Cleveland it was difficult to watch. I mean, he gave up, of course, a grand slam, a three run home run to Ben Brassard as part of that night. Well, you know, we were doing that game, and, and you're watching a guy throw 97 miles an hour, and they're turning on the fastball, and you're going, and it made me think, do they have his pitches? That was unbelievable. And unbelievable to Josh Beckett, I'm sure, as well. And a much different Josh Beckett here against this Cleveland Indians team this time around. Rouse sends it foul off to the left, one and two. Side in order for the fourth time tonight. As he misses two and two. Talk about Beckett uh, changing things up. Ten of the 18 batters he's faced, first pitch fastballs, the other eight off speed pitches, whether it be curveball or changeup. So a good job of mixing things up. In center field, Coco Chris runs over and runs it down. Another one two three inning for Josh Beckett five and a half in the books two nothing Red Sox.
Have you driven the all-wheel drive Fusion? It beat out Camry and Accord in performance, handling, and styling. No wonder it's the fastest growing car in its segment. How about Ford Edge? The coolest crossover to hit the streets with a class exclusive Vista roof and best in class horsepower. Right now, please a Ford Fusion for just $199 a month or an Edge for just $269. See your local Ford store today. do in Massachusetts, one fun thing leads right into the next. Visit MassVacation.com for a complete list of getaways. Massachusetts, make it yours. The passage is intense, but if you complete the journey, Find your destiny among the world's greatest warriors. The few, the proud, the Marines. What if whales watched where they were going? They don't. That's why Irving does. We move the shipping lane to avoid endangered right whales. Working with the New England Aquarium to find a safe solution. Giving nature the right of way. That's my what if. Last half of the sixth inning, it's 2 0. Boston on top. A run in the first, a run in the fifth. Euclid's responsible for the run in the first inning as he doubled the drive in Julio Lugo back in the first inning. A solo shot by Jason Veritek to lead off the fifth. Hours now at 80 pitches as he works here in the last half of the sixth inning. Now this has been back to back good games for Sowers. We mentioned his last outing, his first win coming against Kansas City. And to this point, holding the Red Sox to the two runs. David Ortiz talking to Andrew Crosby, who is manning the dugout tonight for Boston's finest. Andrew Crosby is a longtime bat boy here at Fenway Park for the Red Sox and actually left the Red Sox clubhouse staff to become a police officer in his first night in that capacity back here in the dugout. This one down the left field line, nicely handed by the ball attendant. Two two. Euclid drives it to deep left. Has it got enough? Yep. Into the monster seats. Euclid has gone deep for the eighth time this season and puts the Red Sox on top three nothing. Now Euclid now has nine consecutive multiple hit games he has 25 on the season which uh, leads the league in that category and using the whole ballpark this time pulling the ball for the home run so he doesn't have to sprint around the bases tonight he can uh, go into the home run trot. leads the American League in the multi hit category. It's now nine consecutive games as Manny takes ball one. Well, with all these numbers being piled up in the first half, Jerry, you take a look at the guys headed to the All Star game. And of course, Kevin Euclid is named does not appear on the ballot this season because it is in a National League ballpark. David Ortiz's name is in that first base spot. And for Euclid to go, he has got to be written in 
which of course is a vote not cast for Big Poppy if you have a write in which uh, makes it a little bit more confusing. Now Euclid could be voted in by the fans. We've seen that over the years that last spot on the team which uh, Johnny Damon of course had happened to him. Jason Veritek had it happened to him. So what you're saying is you can't vote for Ortiz and write in. Correct. Euclid. Euclid. Rouse at third throws across for the first out of the inning. Boston Red Sox baseball and Nesson is brought to you by your New England Jeep dealers. Lasso vitamin water. And by LP Weatherbest. Well, as you mentioned, Don, there's a lot of different ways to make the All Star team. And if Euclid continues like this, uh, he'll certainly find a way to get on there. Absolutely. It's just one of those quirks that uh, he does not even appear on as far as uh, his name being there by first base. J.D. Drew takes a ball. It's one and one. Not be in the pen for the Indians. Fernando Cabrera. Pitch a strike over the inside corner, one and two now to J.D. Drew. You know, the thing Euclid could also bring to an All Star game is versatility. You yep. know, play yep. third base, he could play first base if needed. To Short and Peralta, who's been busy tonight. And there's two down. Now Jim Leland will be the manager of the American League team this year and of course uh, he has a lot of say in uh, who some of the extra guys are that have picked uh, the league has an awful lot to say about it too. They sit down together with the American League officials and I remember Terry Francona talking about it when he was the manager after the it's, it's World tough. Series he said he had like four guys that he actually had a decision on and even then there was uh, Great amount of talking back and forth with yep. the, the league. Oh yeah, trying it's, to decide. It's I, it's really not a fun time for a manager, no. you know, because there are certain guys that are always going to be left off that should be on the team. I, I, that's why I'm not for having, you know, every team represented. I don't believe that. I believe the best players should go to the All Star game. With the exception, let's say for example, uh, the game is in Kalamazoo. Down the line out of the reach of Mike Rouse into the corner. David DeLucci goes to dig it out, but Mike Lowell has got himself another double. You know, if the game is in Kalamazoo, then you put a Kalamazoo player on there, the best one you've got, because it is the home place, is where you're playing the game. But other than that, I don't see why every team has to be represented. It just doesn't make sense to me. If you're an all star, you're an all star, and you belong on that team. Well, he's got 14 doubles now in the season. As Eric Wedge makes his way to the mound, Sowers has gotten him into the sixth inning. He's gone five and two thirds innings. The Red Sox have got a run in the inning and a double here for Lowell now. And Cabrera up in the pen to begin the inning. And he's going to make the move. So the pitching change here. And Sowers will leave. This call to the bullpen is brought to you by your local Ford store. Every journey begins with a bold move. Start your journey today by visiting your local Ford store. The pitching change from Fenway is 3 0 Red Sox. Have you heard about the benefits of a reverse mortgage? If you're a homeowner, 62 years or older, and would like to supplement your monthly income, a reverse mortgage could be the key to living comfortably in retirement. U.S. government insured reverse mortgages allow seniors to convert the equity in their home into cash without having to move or make monthly loan payments. We offer a free information kit and video explaining everything you need to know about a reverse mortgage. Call 800-300-4519. My neighbor drove all over town to find the best deal on a cell phone. I just logged on to Let's Talk. They make it easy to compare plans from all major carriers and find cell phone deals that are much cheaper than retail. Like the hot Blackberry Pearl with music and video player, a $369 value, yours free after mail-in rebate and new calling plan. Let's Talk has the best prices, the best plans, and the most free phones guaranteed. 
Log on to 25letstalk.com or call now to order your BlackBerry Pearl. Let's Talk, the smarter way to shop for cell phones. So log on or call now. Stay tuned after the game for WB Mason Extra Innings and Granite City Electric Extra Innings Extra with Tom Karen and Dennis Eckersley. You'll get the complete postgame reaction from game two of this series, including the live press conferences of Josh Beckett and Terry Francona. Plus, Eck will break down Beckett's performance tonight in his return. It's all right after the game in high definition on Nessa. Jeremy Sauer has gone after five and two thirds innings still responsible for Mike Lowell who's at second base as he hands it off to Fernando Cabrera Cabrera making his 14th appearance a record of one and two all those appearances out of the bullpen 26 strikeouts in 19 and a third innings but he's also had some control problems 11 walks and opponents hitting 267 off Cabrera first time the Red Sox have ever faced him. Yeah. Birthday. yeah I promised her out of the uh, Rem Dogs on Yawkey Way that we would try to get that sign on. Happy 16th birthday to Chelsea. Well, you came through. Well actually Mike Narachi came through. Jason Veritek homered his last time up one for two tonight. Fifth home run of the season. Red Sox have added a run in this inning. It's three nothing Boston. Cabrera almost turned his ankle on that one as we look at the Veritek home run that went over everything in left field. Number five, the Veritek on a season. Cabrera falling behind 2 and 0, and catcher Victor Martinez out to talk to him. Dunkin' Donuts is in its eighth year of hosting local youth groups and charitable organizations in the Dunkin' Dugout, a special seating section here at Fenway Park. Thousands of children have had the opportunity to catch a Red Sox home game thanks to Dunkin' Donuts. Nothing Red Sox lead here tonight and a very comfortable night from Fenway Park. Those two got to be twins, don't they? They left him. These two? Yeah. Pitch outside, the Baratek 3 0. Bear has been unable to find the strike zone since coming in. Well, maybe not. Well, I don't know. What they look like, don't they? The hairstyle is the same, that's for sure. Four pitch walk. Veritek down to first base. So only one walk tonight by Sowers, and it was of the intentional variety back in the first inning. Cabrera walks the first batter that he faces. Actually, I thought Sowers uh, pitched pretty well in this ball game tonight. Uh, I don't see Beckett better than him to this point, and uh, only three runs given up, uh, leaving. That's that's pretty impressive against the Red Sox lineup. Coming in there for five and two thirds innings through 94 pitches in his outing. First trick, first pitch strikes to 13 of 24 batters. Pena takes a strike. Sauer is still responsible for Mike Lowell, who's at second base. The last batter that Sauer's faced, Lowell doubled. Sowers allowing two home runs. They're both solo shots. One to Baratek, one to Euclid. Two and one now to Pena. Uh, 
Austin Pedroia waits on deck. Red Sox batting here in the bottom of the sixth inning with two outs. Lowell at second base, Veritek at first. Too far inside. Yeah, it's three and one. Not a slide is for Cabrera, especially to Pena. Eight pitches, seven balls. Well, Willis, the pitching coach, not to agreeing with. He played umpire. Chuck Merriweather. Ball four, and he walks him. So back to back walks. Cabrera loads the bases. And we gave you the numbers of for Cabrera, and he does have a lot of strikeouts, but also a lot of walks. And Willis is going to make his way out to uh, try to settle his pitch it down a little bit. John Lester pitching tonight against the Columbus Clippers a five inning effort giving up four hits and no runs he walked two and struck out six throwing 79 pitches. Well the 79 pitches five innings uh, you would think uh, maybe there'd be one more in there one more we have start possibly. Uh, We'll try to get them to that uh, 100 pitch limit, uh, which they like to get to before they recall somebody. Good numbers and great numbers down there tonight for uh, for John Lester on his road back to Fenway. Well, jam here for Fernando Cabrera. With two outs in the sixth inning. Bases loaded. And yeah, Pedroia one for two tonight. A single his last time up. Hit safely in nine straight games. And it takes ball one from Cabrera. He's thrown ten pitches, one for a strike. Red Sox hitters just taking. Dreya <laughs> taking again, and this time it's first strike over the inside corner, two and one. Cabrera last year in 51 games for the Cleveland Indians. 15 in 2005 and 4 in 2004. And the walk totals has always been fairly high for him. So have the strikeout numbers. Well, he's faced two batters since coming in here. Relief of Jeremy Sowers. He's walked them both. Veritek and Pena back to back. Perez up in the pen now for the Indians. Pedroia takes ball three and it's three and one. Bases filled with Red Sox. Lowell at third. Veritek at second. Payne at first. Dreya grounds it foul. Runners will be in motion here with a full count, two down. Ball four, he walks in a run. From third comes Mike Lowell. It's a 4 nothing Red Sox lead. Third walk in a row from the reliever for the Cleveland Indians. Now Willis and Wedge both looking uh, long looks toward that uh, home plate umpire, but I don't think too many of those pitches are real close. No. It's one of the worst angles you have is actually from the dugout. 
you can see how high or low they are but you certainly can't see corners. It's the ninth time the Red Sox have walked with the bases loaded this season. Uh, standing in is Julio Lugos one for three in the game tonight. Lugo the eighth member of the Red Sox to bat here in the bottom of the sixth inning. He just cannot find the strike zone. No, he might as well take one too. 17 pitches, three for strikes. There's one, two and one. That's exactly what Lugo is doing, taking a strike, making him throw one. Downstairs, three and one. You have a guy that's this wild, you know, you take a strike, you, you, you're putting pressure on him, you throw two strikes in a row, he hasn't been able to do that. Takes the strike. <laughs> On the ground foul outside of third. Well, he has thrown two strikes in a row now to Lugo. The 3 1 pitch that was on the outside corner. Lugo fouling off the 3 2 pitch. See if he can throw three strikes in a row. All the runs so far have been charged for the starter tonight for the Indians. Charged with four runs over five and two thirds. 3 2. Strike three call. Lugo is down on strikes. And flips the helmet and the back. But the Red Sox do get a couple of runs. It's now 4 0 Boston. And now, life without Roadrunner. What's up? Look, I'm not ready to have the talk with my kids yet. Well, I'm not doing it for you. But how can I be sure of that? Simple. Get Roadrunner High Speed online with the parental controls you need. Then they can surf faster. Without growing up too fast. Hey, you're good. Give me a hug. Oh, no, no, no. Call 1-800-833-2253 to get special savings on Roadrunner High Speed Online. Time Warner Cable, the power of you. Can I help you? Yeah, can I get the love handles, double chin, and uh, some blubber? Please drive around. When you get greasy fast food, what are you really getting? The new Subway Fresh Fit Meals fit into the American Heart Association's approach to a healthy lifestyle. Subway, eat fresh. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. summer the American road is calling get there at the Chevy Memorial Day sale for seven short days get zero percent financing plus a thousand dollars bonus cash on select 07s hurry sale ends May 31st shop and compare at maindrivechevy.com okay here it is I'm a truck driver and I love it I finished school in just four weeks I found that I just kept putting it off and putting it off next week became next month became next year. Finally, I decided to go for it. Even before I graduated, I had six job offers. And the one I chose, I'll make $40,000 the first year. That's not bad starting pay. Plus, I get benefits, including the best one, freedom of the open road. Take your first step toward a new career in trucking. Call Northeast Tech today. If we were in an emergency situation, we don't have extra. We have a little bit of water and a little bit of food. A meeting no. place, no. No. For the family to meet? No. no.
Tonight after our Red Sox coverage day with Ness and the Sports Desk with Hazel May presented by FW Webb home of Frank Webb's Bath Centers. Visit them at FWWebb.com. She'll show you the big upset on the men's side at the French Open in Paris today. Plus a former Duke lacrosse player leaves behind a controversial year and lands at Brown University. Catch it all tonight after our Red Sox coverage with Hazel May in high definition on Nesson. A 25 minute wait for Josh Beckett as the Red Sox got a couple more runs for him in the bottom of the sixth inning. And now enjoys a 4 0 advantage here into the top of the seventh. He's given up just the one hit back in the first inning to Johnny Peralta. Walk Peralta in the fourth. Cleveland's had two base runners all night. And on both occasions were erased on double plays. So nobody has been to second base yet tonight for the Indians. See if the long wait has any kind of impact on Beckett. He's throwing 78 pitches now tonight. Sizemore is 0 for 2. He struck out both times. Total of five strikeouts tonight for Beckett. Sizemore third in the league in strikeouts. And strikes out again. Third time tonight, 52nd time on the year. And there's one out here in the seventh. Uh, he's got he's got Sizemore guessing right now. You know, he struck him out in a fastball in the first inning, a curveball in the fourth, and now he goes to that two seam fastball outside corner for the strikeout. So, you know, it's not like he can sit up there and look for fastball. He's seeing all the pitches. He saw a change, a couple of change ups in that at bat. So he has him guessing. And the result, three strikeouts in the game. Sizemore has struck out five times in the series now. And eight at bats. Johnny Peralta has been the only guy that has been able to reach against Josh Beckett tonight a single and a walk and that has been it. Towards right center field on the move is Drew knocks it down with the glove as Peralta takes the wide turn at first Chris gets it back in quickly. And Peralta continues to be the only problem tonight for Josh Beckett. Now both hits uh, for Peralta both on fastballs this time to the opposite field and I said it by J.D. Drew. I don't know if this bounced up and hit him in the face but uh, it had to be tracked down by Coco Chris to leave Peralta at first base. Of course down by four runs you don't want to take the chance of being thrown out at second. Yeah looks that ball bounced on him in the face. Thought it hit his glove. His glove? No you're right. Hit him off the yeah, face. Right up the side of the face. One out, one on. Makes up a string of eight in a row retired by Beckett. And it's Travis Hafner. To right field, Drew on the run, and that's going to get in for a hit and get by Drew. This is trouble all the way down into the right field corner. Peralta will score from first base. Hafner is going to be stopped at third base. And the Indians get on the board. It's now four to one. Now that ball took a bad bounce on J.D. Drew in right field. You're going to see the ball kick to his left when it hits the grass. Half the jumps on that first pitch. Now watch this ball when it hits the grass kick and spin to the left of J.D. Drew. That's why it gets by him and that's why Hafner ends up at third base. His second triple of the season. And that is one of the ways you can end up with an inside the park home run, as you were describing last night after yep. Euclid did it. Good hustle by Coco Chris to get over there and get that ball back in. There is Victor Martinez, who's 0 for 2 in the game tonight. Martinez fly to the warning track in center field in the second inning, struck out swinging in the fifth. Red Sox with action in the pen for the first time tonight. Javier Lopez and Brendan Donnelly. <laughs> 
questionable whether uh, Jonathan Papelbon would be available in this game tonight. Uh, I asked Papelbon himself, and he wouldn't know until uh, it was actually Francona that makes the decision on that. Asked Terry about that after our little gathering with the media, and uh, it didn't sound to me like he would pitch in this ball game tonight. It was three times in four days, and last night was not easy. Sokojima coming away with a save on Sunday in the final game of that three game series against the Texas Rangers. <laughs> 0 and 2 to Victor Martinez. Looking ball missing, that's 1 and 2. Total six strikeouts tonight for Josh Beckett. Right side, Euclid has got it. Thought about coming home, but we'll just tag the bag at first. Another run in for the Indians. It's now four to two Red Sox, and the two runs they picked up in the bottom of the sixth inning. The difference now. And the right choice by Kevin Euclid not to go home with that. Uh, he took a peek toward home, but it would have been too close to play. I don't think he would have got Hafner. Get the out. So an RBI for Victor Martinez, who picks up his 41st RBI of the season. And that ties in with Vladimir Guerrero for fourth in the American League and runs batted in. So two down, bases empty for Trot Nixon. Let's fly to center and ground it out to first base. Sold for two. Beckett with a 25 minute wait in between innings when the Red Sox scored twice in the sixth inning. And a chance to score some more as Fernando Cabrera walked the bases loaded. And then Julio Lugo struck out looking. The Red Sox left him loaded in the sixth. As Nixon pops it up foul, and it's one and two. So strange to see the number 33 in the back of Trot Nixon's uniform. Number seven from the get-go after being drafted by the Red Sox in 1993 all the way through the minors and of course here in Boston. One and two the count to Nixon. And there are Nixon jerseys all over this ballpark. Got him. Beckett with his seventh strikeout concludes the inning. Two runs for the Indians. It's 4 2 Boston. Seventh inning stretch time for a sports desk update with Hazel Mann. Don, thank you. Hi, everybody. The coroner's office is still ruling the death of New England Patriots player Marquise Hill an accidental drowning, but he did say that there's a chance a 24 year old may have suffered a mild concussion when he was thrown off his jet ski. Coming up tonight on Sports Desk, presented by FW Webb, home of Frank Webb's Vast Centers, the very latest, including the results of an initial autopsy. I'll see you later. Back to Fenway after this. Bob's Discount Furniture gives birth to a new age in leather, purchasing direct from factories all over the world. Buying a leather living room will never be the same. It's a new age in comfort. Genuine leather everywhere you sit, with not one, but two recliners. Need even more? The matching love seat with two recliners. Both pieces with genuine leather and four recliners, only $9.99. Bob can't be beat. He won't be beat. No way, no how. It's a new age. It's highly refined, it's imported by the barrel, and it's another thing you shouldn't guzzle while driving. Now Dodge goes the distance with our most fuel-efficient lineup ever, like Charger with 28 highway miles per gallon, Caliber with 32 highway miles per gallon, and the all-new Avenger SE with 30 highway miles per gallon. Maximize your miles with our most fuel-efficient line of vehicles ever. Now get 0% financing plus $500 bonus cash on Charger and Avenger. 
Hey, man. Hey. Give you a hand? Sure, yeah. Just take the... Uh, oh. No, no. Uh, hey, guys. Check this out. So you pop the top, little tap action, boom. Get the glass. A little something I like to call liquid gold. Did you see what Mikey brought? Yeah. I, I brought a sandwich. OK. It's got Gouda. Smoked Gouda, actually. For every Red Sox game that goes into extra innings of the Sox get a save, CBS Pharmacy will donate $500 to Children's Hospital. CBS Pharmacy is the official pharmacy of the Boston Red Sox. Last half of the seventh inning is 4-2. to two. Red Sox, new pitcher on for the Indians. It's Rafael Perez. Yeah, he was just called up yesterday for the second time this year. He's made one appearance uh, earlier in the season. Down at Buffalo was three and three in seven starts. Chris pulls the bunt back out of the way. There you see the numbers down at Buffalo. One game this year with the, the Indians. Three innings in that game. Three hits and no runs allowed. This ball the check swing foul and it's one and one. Well, Fernando Cabrera goes a third of an inning and allows an inherited runner to score. And he had all kinds of problems walking three, but is not charged with any runs of his own. Jeremy Sauer is charged with the four runs and five and two thirds. Cabrera a third, no hits, no runs, three walks, and a strikeout. And now Rafael Perez, the third Indians pitcher of the night. Cabrera was able to strike out Julio Lugo with the bases loaded. And the Indians offensively gathered two runs off Josh Beck at the top half of this inning. Two and two now to Coco Crisp. I think Beckett right at 90 pitches. That might be the last inning for Beckett in this game. We'll see. Coco strikes out. Let's check in with Tom Karen, TC. Thank you, Don. Our New England Toto Daily Game Break. The Yankees trying to snap a four game losing streak. Down one, nothing here in the seventh. Jason Giambi, four for 24 coming into the game. Hits a seventh homer of the year right there. It is now tied at one in Toronto, guys. Okay, Tom, it's 4 2 here with the Red Sox on top. We're in the midst of the bottom of the seventh inning with one out. Here's Kevin Euclid, who has two hits tonight and three tries. Including his eighth home run of the year. According to uh, stories I read today, Joe Torrey had a one hour meeting with his club yesterday prior to the game. That's a long meeting. That is a long time. In your experience, how often do those meetings work? You know, it depends on managers. I mean, some don't like them at all, and some do, and and they vary. I mean, you know, if you feel your club is not hustling, you know, it's kind of an airing out meeting, you know. But uh, I think in Tory's case, it's probably more of a, you know, we're better than this. We know we're better than this. Let's, you know, win one, win five, win ten, you know, and better get yourself back into position and maybe getting a playoff pitcher. And uh, you know, I mean, it didn't work last night. As they went out and they lost the game, but um, you know sometimes things have to be said, and uh, there are certain managers who know how to say them. Others who just you, know, you walk out of there scratching your head and going, you know, what was that all about, and why, you know. <laughs> now it is one and two to Euclid. And he fouls it off the catcher. Got a big piece of Victor Martinez. Euclid on top of the slider. And right off the left thigh, it looks like. For Victor Martinez. Funniest meeting I was ever in was uh, as a member of the California Angels. We were so bad at that particular time, they called in a hypnotist. 
<laughs> and this was it was hilarious. <laughs> I mean, this guy's actually trying to hypnotize us into believing we're good. <laughs> and we were not good. And I, I swear, half the guys were faking that they were hypnotized. Really? That is unbelievable. I've never heard anything like that before. No, that's a true story. That's how bad you guys were going. They tried to hypnotize you into believing you were a good team. And we went out that night. We got our butt kicked all over the ballpark. <laughs> that's it's a true story. And I I couldn't. I was just a young player. It was like the first to second year. I couldn't keep from laughing in the, in the meeting. <laughs> so I didn't get hypnotized. And I swear they had there were guys walking around like they were you know faking like they were hypnotized. <laughs> Luka is out towards right center field, but Nixon is there, and he makes the catch two down. Stay tuned after the game for WB Mason's extra innings with John Karen and Dennis Eckersley. You'll get the complete postgame reaction from this series opener, including Josh Beckett's postgame press conference, plus all the highlights from around the majors on this Tuesday night. It's all right after the game in high definition on Nesson. Jerry, you're a home run hitter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember Fra Frank Tanana was on that club, and he did. The guys tell him. Frank would stand up, and you know Frank would stand up, and he'd say, "Go right," and he'd go right. And left. It was only, I mean, like I'm like busted up in the back of the room. <laughs> Two down for Manny. He does not have a hit tonight. He was intentionally walked in the first, and then back-to-back -back ground outs at third base. Now that's not to say that you know hypnotists don't work, and no, but it didn't work with effective. the Angels. I'll tell you that. But we weren't really taking it serious. I mean, you know, here we are, a baseball team, and I never heard of this. And Hey guys, come on, we're having a meeting. You're all going to get hypnotized. I mean, you, know, you just don't like kind of turn it on like that, you know. We got a butt kicking that night too. It was unbelievable. Well, that's the problem I think with meetings too. Is if you go through that long a meeting, then you go out and lose. No, what you do is see the effectiveness it, of the meeting. No, right if, you're ever, if you're a smart manager, you, this is when you hold a meeting. When you have the pitching matchup on your side, you know you got your race going, and and they don't. And you got a, you feel like you got a pretty good chance to win that game. That's when you have your team meeting because then it comes out looking great. Well, the Yankees had Matt DeSalvo. Bad time to game. have a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> two and zero to Manning. And there are two outs in the inning. And the strike makes it two and one. Yankees are now trailing two to one. Aaron Hill has stolen home for the Toronto Blue Jays. As Manny swings and misses two and two. It does seem strange to look out at that scoreboard now and see the Yankees and Tampa Bay Devil Rays tied to begin the day, 13 and a half games back. Now the whole thing's strange, Don. I mean, here you got the end of May, and you have an 11 and a half game spread between the first and second team. To me, that that's amazing, and I don't think anybody expected that. Center field, Sizemore headed back as far as he can go, but it's still going to be over his head, one off the wall. Ramirez motoring into second base with a two-out double. And that's the second time tonight that Manny has crushed the ball. It was a ground ball of third base back in the fourth inning that he actually smoked, but Rouse was there to make the play. Now off the center field wall. Sizemore will turn and play it off the bottom of the wall. So the two out double for Manny Ramirez. Red Sox on top by two, looking for more of a pad here as J.D. Drew stands in. He's 0 for 3 tonight. Go back to the lead for the Red Sox. This is the earliest the Red Sox have ever led by as many as 11 and a half games in a season, ever. And the 11 and a half game advantage is Boston's largest in a season since they had an 11 and a half game edge on September 17th of 1995, and that was through 131 games. 
That point there was 79 and 52. One hopper at Barfield at second base. J.D. Drew is gone, and so are the Red Sox through seven. It's now 4-2 Boston. Ten million, twelve million, just buy it. Take it to Philadelphia. Okay, last minute fair. That'll be nine hundred dollars. One way. Larry. Yep, we're changing airlines. Even our last minute fares are affordable at Southwest Airlines. Fly nonstop from Manchester or Providence to Philadelphia for just forty nine dollars one way. Purchase by May thirty first. You are now free to move about the country. Not all the energy for our fuel comes from oil on the ground. A lot of it comes from our people, who year in and year out put so much of their energy into everything they do. So you can be sure that when you put Valero gas into your tank, you're going to get a lot out of it. Valero, the energy to take you anywhere. Hello. Mrs. Anderson, this is Mark Brown. I'm from the collections department. Of Hi. Listen, I'm sorry I haven't made my payment yet. I'll, I'll, I'll get it in as soon as I can. Maybe you should call in charge. They'll work with you and come up with a solution that's right for you. When life hands you a little more than you can manage, call in charge debt solutions. We're a nonprofit company that puts people back in control by helping them manage their debt. We'll stop the collection calls and we'll help lower your interest rates. So you'll have one affordable monthly payment. Call in charge today. If you owe over $10,000 to the IRS or state, call American Tax Relief for a free consultation. We've helped thousands of Americans settle their tax debt for a fraction of what they owed. Once we hired American Tax Relief, the IRS stopped contacting us. That was an immediate relief. And they settled our tax debt for a fraction of what we owed. If you owe over $10,000 to the IRS or state, we can help you settle for less, maybe a lot less. Call 800-294-1563 for your free consultation. Four to two, the Red Sox on top as we head to the top half of the eighth. Well, a strong performance tonight by Josh Beckett. Seven strikeouts on the night and mixing up his pitches very well. The fastball will start off the game for a strikeout. You see the curveball there for a strikeout. He had some on changeups. Very, very impressive tonight by Josh Beckett. First strike pitches to 14 of 23 tonight in his seven inning effort. And the final strikeout to Trot Nixon on a changeup. Three hits the two runs, one walk, seven strikeouts, and he threw 91 pitches. As we head here to the top half of the eighth inning, Brendan Donnelly in. Donnelly making his 23rd appearance in the second of this series. He worked the third of an inning last night against the Indians. 12 strikeouts and 16 in the third innings. Opponent sitting 246. Ryan Garko's 0 for 2. He's popped out to second, grounded out to third, and gets hit by the pitch. But tomorrow night at 6, Olympia Sports presents the Boston Globe pregame show with John Curran and Dennis Eckersley. They'll bring you a preview of Dice Game at Suzakistan in the series finale. And Sachs Executive Vice President and General Manager Theo Epstein joins them for the Face the Nation segment. It's all tomorrow night at 6 in high definition. And it's only on Nesson. Ryan Garko hit by a pitch here to begin the inning. Brent Euclid to play in behind him as he steps off. Lopez busy. Javier Lopez has been up now for the last inning plus and is joined by Hideki Okajima. David DeLucci 0 for 2, flying to right, flying to center. The three hits that Josh Beckett allowed, two of them to Johnny Peralta, the number two hitter, and one to Travis Hafner. That was the triple for Hafner. Popped up, shallow left. Lugo into short left. Makes the catch for the first out of the inning. The game summary is brought to you by your local Lincoln Mercury dealers, Jason Veritek. 
able to homer in the fifth inning to give the Red Sox a 2 0 advantage. His fifth home run of the year. The Red Sox would follow it up in the very next inning. Kevin Euclid with his eighth home run of the season. And a great effort tonight at Josh Beckett's return after missing two starts and returning from the disabled list with the avulsion. Able to go tonight. A seven inning effort giving him three hits and two runs a seven strikeout night for Beckett hoping that the bullpen can help him out. The tying run is at the plate with one out in the inning is Josh Barfield. Fly ball to right. Two down some stagger steps are at the end by Drew but he reels it in. Looks like Rouse is being called back uh, the left uh, excuse me the number nine here in the lineup. You have Casey Blake on the bench tonight. And it will be will Casey be Blake. Blake. Yeah. He was the American League Player of the Week. Collected eight extra base hits last week. Faced some of the season's toughest competition. And six games. He hit 348, eight for 23. And he'll be coming up. Bring home the memories, bring home the magic. Stop. Excuse me. Shop the Boston Globe store online for unique Red Sox memorabilia, Dice K products, and more. Shop online, shop anytime, or call 1 665 2667. So, two down. Garko is at first base, and Blake pinch hitting for Mike Rouse. First last night to Blake part of the controversial play was hit on the hand and it kept him out of the starting lineup tonight. And the swing attempt at the same time. Well you look at that time after time <laughs> and that is so close so close. Harry Weather the first base umpire making the decision that he did swing at that. What a huge out it was with the tying runs and scoring position that was out number two. And for Blake, not only costly for his team, but for himself. And a hand a little sore today, keeping him out of the starting lineup till now. Eric Wedge goes to him here with two outs, and Ryan Garko at first base here in the eighth. Outside a third and foul. They just edged out Justin Morneau for the Player of the Week honors. And Magli Ordonez for the Detroit Tigers both had uh, great weeks. We had three doubles, a triple, and four home runs, eight RBIs in this past week. But behind Brendan Donnelly here in this pinch hit appearance. And the dirt gathered nicely by Veritek, and it's two and two. Mike <laughs> Rouse was all for two from the number nine spot tonight at third base in the place of Casey Blake. He's waiting on a 2 2 pitch from Brendan Donnelly. Full count. To the count to Casey Blake. To left field and in for a hit. Over quickly is Willie Mo Pena. Garco stops at second base as Pena bobbles it. No further advance for the Indians runners, but a pinch hit single for Casey Blake. Now we'll see now Francona coming out of that dugout. He's got two lefties out there, Lopez and Okajima. 
Okajima tonight likely to be called on to close this game. Let's see which one he calls for. Looks like Lopez. So with two outs and runners at first and second, Javier Lopez will make his way into the game. The pitching change from Fenway. Hello. Mrs. Anderson, this is Mark Brown. I'm from the collections department. Of Hi. Listen, I'm sorry I haven't made my payment yet. I'll, I'll, I'll get it in as soon as I can. Maybe you should call in charge. They'll work with you and come up with a solution that's right for you. When life hands you a little more than you can manage, call In Charge Debt Solutions. We're a nonprofit company that puts people back in control by helping them manage their debt. We'll stop the collection calls and we'll help lower your interest rates so you'll have one affordable monthly payment. Call In Charge today. It's going to be great seeing those people and, and going back there and uh, hopefully beat the Red Sox uh, three games in a row. They'll miss our old friend Trot Nixon and his return to Boston as he and the tribe invade Fenway Park. Tomorrow in HD, it's the Sox and the Indians. Pre-game coverage begins at 6, only on Nesson. There's a great new look to the Red Sox Nation program in 2007. It has new rewards, gifts, and a unique ticket opportunity. Become part of the global fan base that has made their citizenship in Red Sox Nation official. Visit RedSox.com today. Brennan Donnelly ends up going two-thirds of an inning responsible for the two men who he has left on. They're on thanks to a hit batsman and a single. And into the game is Javier Lopez. Well, he also worked in the ball game last night. Two thirds of an inning for Lopez, allowing a hit. Did have a strikeout. His 15th appearance overall in the season. Brady Sizemore will be the batter. He has struck out three times tonight, all three for Josh Beckett, who had seven strikeouts tonight. Well, I'm sure he's happy to see Beckett. Beckett out of the ball game after striking out three times, but now he's going to face that sidearm left hand. Javier Lopez has allowed just one run in his last five outings. There's a lot runs in only two of ten games since his last recall from Pawtucket on May 11th. Sizemore takes ball one. Darko hit by a pitch to begin the inning. Delucci popped to short. Barfield fly to right. And Casey Blake pinch hitting for Mike Rouse single to left. So it's runners at first and second, two down. The tying runs on base right now for the Indians. On the ground to Pedroia. Javier Lopez continues to get it done out of the Red Sox bullpen. Indians strand a pair at 4 2 Boston. Toyota's 50th anniversary celebration is on now with the biggest Toyota selection in history. Check out the fuel efficient Prius or the stylish Camry. Camry, Motor Trends 2007 Car of the Year. You can lease one now with the lowest payment ever, just $1.99 a month for 36 months with $19.99 due at signing. Or you can save on a spacious Sienna with $1,250 cash back. Toyota's 50th anniversary celebration ends June 4th. See you in New England Toyota Theater now. When you're on the go, you need the convenience, quality, and pricing that you'll always find at Extra Mart. Convenience. Everything you need is priced right and ready to go. Quality. Extra Mart has their own extra cafe gourmet coffee, delicious deli joe sandwiches, and extra fuels gasoline. Great prices. Extra Mart features everyday low prices and value specials. All this month at Extra Mart, 32 ounce vitamin water is specially priced at just two for three dollars. In every corner of New England, Extra Mart is just around your corner. 
Lisa. Oh, honey. What's that? Oh, it's a smoothie from Dunkin' Donuts. It has low-fat yogurt, vitamin C. It's a snack you can feel good about. Oh, you're right. I do feel good. I feel so good, I don't even mind that you stole my smoothie. I feel so good, I don't even feel awkward about taking it. Delicious Dunkin' Donuts smoothies, now in Tropical Fruit. America runs on Dunkin'. Stop by Dunkin' Donuts and try the new Tropical Fruit smoothie in pineapple, banana, and coconut flavor. Stay tuned after the game for Granite City Electric Extra Innings Extra with Tom Karen and Dennis Eckersley. You'll get the manager's assessment of this series opener, uh, the, excuse me, the second game of the series with Terry's take with Tina Sebastio, plus a look ahead to the series finale tomorrow. The pitching matchup, Night Day against Paul Bird. It's all right after the game in high definition on Nesson. Mike Lowell leads it off with the Red Sox on top, 4 to 2, as they bat here in the last half of the eighth inning. Roll with a double his last time up one for three night. Lowell Veritek and Pena expected here in the bottom of the eight. Ooh, that one hurt. You, know, you, get, you get concerned every time you see that because you've seen so many guys throughout their career foul balls off and then break a bone in their foot. And that got right off the top of the uh, left foot, it looked like, of Mike Lowell. And Fred Lynn back in 1979, I think, had his season ended on something like that. He was having an MVP type of year. Down 0 and 2 here. Nobody out in the eighth. Balls it off himself again. Wouldn't you know it, right? You go right back to a breaking ball down and in, and he tops it again. Well, this time off the side of the foot, it looked like. So now he's got two spots I've heard. Seats. I'm trying to find it. And Lowell strikes out. Painful at bat for Mike Lowell. Let's check in with Tina Servasio. Jonathan Pavelbon not coming into the game tonight, but in his last two appearances, both safe situations, Pavelbon made things a little interesting. The closer breaks down exactly what was going on early in the ninth last night. Well, you know, I, w I was I was offline a little bit tonight. Um, you know, I wasn't as, as sharp as I would have liked to have been. You know, I was sideways a little bit in my delivery, and I wasn't throwing too through Veritech as, as well as I normally do and uh, you know I just had to make the adjustment w within the inning and I was able to make the adjustment and, and get out. And when Hafner stepped to the plate with two out Papelbon's approach was simple with first base open and runners in scoring position he just didn't want to give him a pitch to hit and he got it done. Well got out of it and the Red Sox able to take the first game of this three game series. Applebaum not available tonight as it appears as Hideki Okajima warming in the Red Sox pen in front of him. He told me this afternoon Don and his arm feels great. He said that uh, this exercise program that he has been on for a long long time now he said his arm feels stronger than it ever has so any concerns about you know 
uh, his uh, his arm uh, are not there because he said he, he says he feels great. Being very cautious and careful with him uh, for don't want to overuse him. Do you think in your estimation that he has looked different the second time out in back to back nights. We were all? talking about that last night and I, th I think so a little bit velocity wise. Hideki Okajima who uh, gets the call when Papelbon is not available getting loose and he's been getting loose since the uh, eighth inning. Top of the eighth. On the ground Peralta. For a deep short and a long throw just in time to get Veritek at first base two down. And Peralta he, he seems to just get it there in time yes, doesn't he? Barely. One of those shortstops that uh, seems to, yeah, that yeah, Russ makes a good point. Russ can Omar Vizquel. Seemed like every throw he made was just hard enough to get the runner at first base. David Eckstein. Yeah. Takes his time, uh, no rush, and gets just barely gets Veritek. Two down here in the eighth inning, and it brings up Willie Mopena. And he was fly to the warning track tonight, struck out and walked. The strike in it's 0 2. Second inning of relief for Rafael Perez. Of one hit and he's facing his seventh batter since coming in. Swinging a miss. Pena strikes out two strikeouts in the inning. Red Sox down in order. We head to the ninth. It's 4 2 Boston. Came to spend some time together. Reconnect. Like when I met her. Dice are hot. Like the names they got. Not stop fun. is lost and the bottom drops out. Watch every pitch in clear Panasonic motion. Panasonic Plasma for the speed of sports. Panasonic, ideas for life. The Boston Globe Sports Plots combines New England Sports Page with New England Sports Network. Shara means that much to this team. How do you not hit the helmet? They're playing for their season. I mean, you said it. The Boston Globe Sports Plots on Nesson. Boston Red Sox baseball on Nesson is brought to you by the New England Ford dealers. Sovereign Bank, the official bank of the Red Sox cable network. Auto Trader. Nissan. Bacardi. And by Southwest Airlines. 
Four to two Red Sox on top as we head to the top half of the ninth inning and as expected a Deki Okajima into the game. He is three for three and save opportunities his most recent coming against the Texas Rangers on the 27th an inning in that game did have a couple of hits and one earned run overall for Okajima his 24th appearance he has 24 strikeouts and 24 and two thirds innings. Uh, 1.09 earned run average is tied for the second lowest in the American League among relievers with at least 10 innings pitched. The tough part of this Cleveland Indians lineup coming up Johnny Peralta who has been on base three times in the game tonight. Uh, Travis Hafner and Victor Martinez two three and four in the order. And if they get to the fourth man it'll be Trot Nixon. Strike one to Peralta. And a couple of good ball games here against the Indians. Tight games. Against two very good teams. As Cleveland really has bounced back very nicely this season after a tough year last year. And themselves atop a very good American League Central Division. It's going to be a battle all year though. Eric Wedge's team able to sweep the Detroit Tigers as part of this road trip. Uh, those were some big wins for them. It's a team they're going to be battling all year. They won all three games against the Tigers. And they enjoy a two and a half game lead over the Tigers heading into tonight's action. Johnny Peralta with a count of one and one. Rip foul down the left field line. How are they set up with the, all those snow outs they had earlier in the season? They still have more to go. Yeah. I understand. Now they played games, did these Cleveland Indians in Milwaukee, of course. That's to right. Make up yep. some of those games. The Indians played a home series at Miller Park April 10th through the 12th against the Angels after being snowed out of four games against Seattle April 6th through the 9th. So they still got to see plenty of Seattle. They still got some of those Mariners games left. It's not against the Mariners that they played in Milwaukee, it's against the Angels. But some of those pictures from that series and the amount of snow that was falling was amazing. I was talking to Trot Nixon today before the ball game, and he says that it has not been warm there yet a day in Cleveland. <laughs> he said the last game they had on the homestand before leaving it was uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 49 degrees. So it has not yet really warmed up in Cleveland yet. Shop foul outside a third. Did you give Trot a little uh, grief about <laughs> his comments about you last <laughs> night? I thanked him very much. That yeah, was really nice of him. I'm sure he was very yeah. apologetic too, right? Apparently he said a lot more that did not make it. <laughs> Which I'm not surprised by. So you got right in his grill today. I did, huh? yeah. Jumped right in there. To taps it foul, still two and two. Seventh pitch of the bat coming up for Johnny Peralta. Kojima ready with the 2 2 pitch. On the ground to third. Lowell, a couple steps to his right. The throw in plenty of time, one down. Showing no ill effects of finding a couple off the shoe tops in his last at bat quickly towards the line. And a good throw to retire Peralta. Yep, not an easy play for Mike Lowell as he's close to the line but has to shuffle over to get in front of that ball. Ball hit very well by Peralta. That was on the okie dokie, the splitter. And the Red Sox pick up the first out. One away for Travis Hafner. Wide to center field first time up turned into a double play as they're able to throw out Peralta. Uh, to first base to end the inning and then he grounded into a double play in the fourth inning four six three. Tripled to a drive in a run in the seventh inning. And take strike one from Okajima.
Strike two. And it's 0 and 2 quickly to Hafner. Kurt Schilling, who was outstanding in the first game of this series. Another outstanding effort tonight from a Red Sox starter. Tonight it's Josh Beckett in his return, seven strong. We've seen Donnelly, Lopez, and now Okajima. All two strikes. Nice job last inning, too, by Javier Lopez coming in with runners at first and second, two down, able to get Sizemore to ground out to end the inning. Well, the Indians left the tying runs on base in the eighth. In the dirt, and it's two and two. Like it hanging around to make sure here and look on, and Red Sox can finish it off for him. It'd be his eighth victory, and make him eight and zero. Oh. The two-two pitch to Hafner. Ball three. It was 0 and 2. It's a full count now. Okajima tries to put him away with the curveball, but it stays high. That's the pitch we heard about when Okajima came over from Japan, being his best, but it's not been the best for him since he's been here. Full count to Hapner. Did he go? No, says Rick Reed. Down first goes Hafner. Tying run will come to the plate. So Hafner was down 0 and 2 in the count, able to get the walk. The Red Sox do have backup out there in the bullpen loosening up. It looks like Joel Pinheiro. You got some very key outs. Prior to Okajima coming into the game on Sunday, five outs to be exact. Picked up the win in that game against the Texas Rangers. Lucas playing behind Hafner at first base, who gains his lead. Okajima missing high. Victor Martinez 0 for 3 in the game tonight. He's flying to the track in center, struck out swinging, and grounded out to first base, picked up an RBI on the ground out in the seventh inning. And 41 runs batted in. Tying in with Vladimir Guerrero. For a fourth in the American League heading into tonight. Nakajima behind 2-0. Martinez two and one. No fastball for Martinez on the 2 0 count. The okie dokie. Uncle Jim doing the same thing after each pitch, taking that walk off the hill, back down, and back up again. Another strike evens up at two and two. Okajima will take that stroll. <laughs> One out, Hapner at first. Tying run at the plate, and Victor Martinez is waiting on a two two. A 
think Kojima is ready as Hafner gains his lead. Struck him out. First strikeout for Okajima, two down in the ninth. Staying away from Victor Martinez again. It looks like that splitter away from Martinez. He's out in front a little bit. So two down Hafner at first base and here is Trot Nixon. The game in the balance. Represents the tying run. He's 0 for 3 tonight. He's flying to center, grounded out to first and struck out swinging. Hafner takes second as Nixon takes ball one. Red Sox not holding him on. Of course, Euclid's back deep at first base with Nixon representing the tying run. The offensive indifference as Hafner takes second base. Check swing foul one and one. Nakajima's thrown 20 pitches 11 for strikes here in the ninth. He's induced a ground out walked Hafner strikes out Martinez Hafner at second. And it's a 1 1 to Nixon. Off the outside corner, 2 and 1. Two one to Nixon. Two and two. That's the splitter again from Okajima. Maybe the best one he's thrown in this game. Gets Trot to chase one that's out of the strike zone. Deuces are wild on the scoreboard and left. Two balls, two strikes, and two outs. Okajima back it off. Now he's ready with the 2 2 pitch to Nixon. Hey, struck him out. The Red Sox win. Hideki Okajima on to save it for Boston on a night that Josh Beckett was outstanding. And the Red Sox take the first two of this three game series against the tough Cleveland Indians. The return for Beckett tremendous here tonight and he becomes the first Red Sox pitcher to win his first eight decision since El Guapo Rich Garces back in 2000 did it. As Beckett the first starter to do it since Roger Clemens who began the 1986 season going 14 and 0. But Beckett picked up where he left off. Okajima once again going to the splitter to pick up the strikeout against Trot Nixon down and away. And that pitch has been magical for him all season long. We'll be back at Fenway right after this 4 2 Red Sox.